Hello guys, happy Friday. Um, Donut, can you speak for me, please? Speaking. Yeah. One, two, one, two. One, two, test. one, two. Test, test, test. How, how good? How good? How good? Good. Good. <laughs> okay, I think I bumped you up high enough. And then I no. bumped... The, the, Should I speak louder? <laughs> no, you're. I think you're good. I think you're okay. Okay. But uh, all right. I'm gonna switch on all over to the game screen. Ah, game yes. Screen. Game. The game. game. Yeah, the game. <laughs> okay. Well, we we were going over everything that we completely forgot. Um. Oh, we don't. We don't need to remember. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I have to look at the evidence. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm I mean, just going to hold up, hold up. I'm still trying to like adjust holding, everything. Holding up. Okay, I yeah, think we should be good. Eager. We should too be good. Eager. No, 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 no. We we should be okay now. We should be okay now. Yeah. We're so okay. this is case two, first trial. We are yes. defending Mask to Mask, which I don't even remember his real name. Darn. Do you? Well, I was going to figure that out once I get the option to. Yeah, I don't even remember his real name. Like, I remember, we remembered everybody else's names except his. His name is... Mm, Mr... <laughs> was that? it a pun? I don't remember if it was a pun. I don't think it was a pun. <laughs> It well, probably wasn't. I don't remember his name. I guess we'll just too forgettable. It yeah, I just know as know him as Mister Indecisive. Yeah, agreed. Well, let's just figure out who he is. Okay. Oh, well, we're in the district court defendant lobby number four. Give me the option. I don't care about you, Maya. No, wrong button. <laughs> hey, Nick. No. Oh, okay. Look, there he is. Run the light. Gosh. On the light, I would not remember that. I, I remember his remember girly that. friend more than actually his wife. Then his girly him, friend then. wife. Yeah, <laughs> his girly wife. Yeah, that, that, was, that was all the new people. Okay. Well. Ow. Okay. 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 Yes. Sad yes. Return. I remember this. I remember this. I don't remember this. I do remember <laughs> that. That's what what's his face gave us butts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. No monetary value. Okay, okay. Did I check this? Purloin. Yes, I remember this. Purloin. <laughs> Who uses that? I remember being upset about that yesterday. Or yesterday. Last week, too. No person uses... What does purloin mean? I'm gonna look it up right Match. now. I'm guessing. Purloin. Purloin? Purloin. I, or steal. To appropriate, or, to appropriate wrongfully and often by a breach of trust. Steal. <laughs> right, I thought it would be steal. Okay, hold up. Purloin is a formal or humorous verb that means to steal something. Okay, I'll take that. There, there's more than one definition, jeez. <laughs> yeah, what was this purloin, purloining, purloins? But then that, that was the first one that I saw. Hmm. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, well. all right. Re refreshed, refreshed, mostly. Wait, I need to check this picture. You understand? I yes, I. The statue is gone from this picture. I see that. I see that. It's important. Wait, probably. But then, okay, when we walked in there, wasn't the statue sitting there to begin with? Yeah, yeah. That's why it says "move the night of the crime." Oh, duh. Yeah, never mind. You're right. That's uh, right, that's right. Don't you we, remember we saw, this? <laughs> sorry, we saw it before, right? We saw it before yeah, the yeah. crime. Okay, that makes sense. Uh -huh. Duh, okay. <laughs> sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. Hey, Nick. What is it? <laughs> Something wrong. Nah, but did you see all the people here? It's crazy. Oh, so check out the mass the ma star the mask glossy <laughs> I bought. Wow, there's like merch. They're like selling merch. 
you outside of this. the the court. <laughs> Where did you buy this? <laughs> right. From the little tents in front of the courthouse. They have all sorts of things for sale. Jeez. Wow. Okay. It's like it's like a convention out here. <laughs> you know, I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. Yeah, you steal it every so often. Wow, don't say that. <laughs> she literally is like five six, five figure discount all the time though in every game. <laughs> Man, why is this in the court record? It's how it's important. Oh, take a look at it. Uh, I will. Give me a moment. <laughs> like why 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 did it decide to be in there? Striking a all pose. Right. What's important? The hat. His little emblem in the front. His, his, uh, grabby bag? His non-feminine lips. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> You're right, that is the most important one. Okay, okay, I think we got it. Alright. Hey, come on, I'm guilty, throw the book at me! Who's screaming like that? Oh, Mr. Wright, you made it. Yeah, I did. But it doesn't look like things are gonna get any less ugly for you. <laughs> Cause I did it! I'm the criminal! Me! 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 <laughs> Ugh, he's at it again. Sent the calling card to Lordly Taylor. I admit it! But you don't have the sacred urn, right? Well, if that's true, but... That doesn't mean that I didn't commit the crime. Normally when I say of course you did it, I'm being sarcastic, but you? Yikes. Anyway, I admit that I'm guilty. So make sure they give me a guilty verdict, please! <laughs> is, is, is that a question? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, there you are, Ronnie. Bonjour, sweetie. Oh, Dusty, honey. But bonjour! Well, actually... I don't really know why I should be speaking French to you at a time like this. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Leave it all to me, Ronnie. I swear I'll protect you. Oh jeez, I'm worried about what you mean by protecting. <laughs> I know, like, what does that um, entail? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you see, actually the thief is her me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you something, Nikki boy? I can guarantee that my Ronnie is innocent. If he's declared guilty, I'll be ever so cross with you. Oh, I'm scared. So why are you smiling when you say it? Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got some errands I need to take care of. I'm counting on you, Nikki boy. Good luck! <laughs> She's so chill. To be honest, I really don't know whether Ron is mask start to mask or not. But there's only one thing I am sure of. He doesn't have the sacred urn right now. <laughs> Mr. Oh. Delight, it's time for you to enter the courtroom. For the time being, I guess I'll just... <clears throat> I guess I'll have to trust Desiree. Stupid 13th Ten AM District Court Courtroom Number Six. Rabble, 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 rabble. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Dots. Question marks. <laughs> Question marks and dots. <laughs> what about the prosecution? Are you prepared to? What a stupid question. Jeez, okay. Why is everyone so rude? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what did you say? Fine. Let me ask you then, Your Honor. Are you ready? Are you ready to pass judgment? Okay, you don't have to be so... <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not! Alright, trial's delayed for another two days, guys. <laughs> I will pass judgment after I hear arguments from both sides. Well, if you're not ready yourself, you shouldn't expect others to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a rule to live by. Um, who, who are you? I am Godot, legendary prosecutor. I've never lost a case. 
Ah, he's the one that Detective Atme was talking about. Y yes, your reputation precedes you. What kind of cases have you dealt with so far? Huh, none. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, hold up. I love this music. I'm gonna pop this up. We gotta listen to this. This is good stuff. What did you say? I've never prosecuted a case before. So I guess he's never lost a case. <laughs> he's never lost a- You can't lose a case if you've never done one! <laughs> never? But you said you've never lost before. Exactly. I've never lost. I've never won before either. Quite the area for a beginner, aren't you? Even the mightiest of Redwoods begin their lives as mere saplings. Wow. <laughs> yes, but a mask in a court of law? Huh. Don't you know anything? No. No matter the man, we all wear masks. Either on our faces or over our hearts. I don't know if I like him or not. <laughs> <laughs> He's interesting. <gasps> this guy is a real deal, alright, Nick. In my mind, it seems very impressed. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Why does it seem like all the prosecutors are the real deal? So we finally meet Mr. Phoenix Trite. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nick! Is he a friend of yours? No. I don't have any friends that call me Trite. Who is this masked man? I return from the depths of hell to do battle with you. Oh, well then, er, Prosecutor Gobo. <laughs> it's not Gobo. It's Godot, Your Honor. In any case, please, your open, please give your opening statement. Opening statement? Those things are not fit for even dogs to con consume. I have only one thing to say before we start. To you, Mr. Trite. That's right. <laughs> w w what is it? Are you familiar with the saying, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link? I wonder how much you can withstand before you and your case break in two. I don't know if I understood that. <laughs> Honestly. Half the things that Gato says, it just goes <laughs> over my head. <laughs> Why do you talk like, like I that? Kinda, I kind of zoned out during that <laughs> entire statement. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> hmm. Well then, let's hear from the first witness. I guess that was his opening statement. All right. Yeah, I guess so. Um, do you want to be Gumshoe? Sure, I can be Gumshoe. <laughs> um, my name is... No one has asked for your name, witness. Oh, wow, okay. I don't- <laughs> <laughs> Oh. The important thing is what you know. That's all. Start talking. We're listening. Y yes, sir. Alright, witness. First, let's hear about what you know about the thief that stole the urn. Oops. Yes, sir! Boom. Boom. Whenever Gumshoe, whenever Gumshoe is the witness, I feel like I don't even need to tear apart his thing. I just have to like press every single thing and then he just starts talking more. <laughs> That's what I noticed because he doesn't lie. He just he doesn't. He just doesn't remember a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like there's a lot of holes in your testimony, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Max star the masks crimes. crimes. Master to Mask is a master thief that first started his crime spree six months ago. Oh, he's kind of like new. He's so he's confident. Popular after six months? Yeah, right? <laughs> That's quick. He's so confident that he sends his calling card before he commits the crime. This was his fifth heist, and as usual, he sent a card on to Lordly Taylor. His pattern is to always go after the. Go after only the most precious art pieces. But the urn is worthless. Present. <laughs> <laughs> right? right. <laughs> That's why, we're sure. It was master to master. It fits his M.O. to a T. Look at 
trust everything though. <laughs> right. Hmm. So then the actual identity of this mask start the mask is M Mr. Godot. W w what are you? <laughs> I still don't understand where the mug comes from. <laughs> We're in the middle of a trial here, Mr. Godot. Blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. That is coffee. You know, I can't believe that. <laughs> I'm sure you can grant me at least this much, Your Honor. Oh, please, proceed. Very well, it's only coffee after all. What? <laughs> you can't be letting him slide this early in the trial. Proceed with your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Well, Nick, what are you gonna do? Grass. Grass. <laughs> as long as they haven't brought up Mr. Delight's identity. All we can do is show that it wasn't masked star to mask who stole the urn. Press. What is the button to press? Do. Do. Press. <laughs> he was at it for longer. It sounded like they were at it for longer. It seemed like it, but... Have you been involved in an investigation from the beginning? Yup. Nobody knows more about that thief than me, pal. What about Detective Atme? It's true! I'm a... Zvati! Author <laughs> of Thieves! Aww. Uh. <laughs> An author? He's written books about thieves? Um, I think he probably meant to say authority. The fact that this guy can slip through even my fingers shows how good he is, pal. It's easy when those fingers happen to be butter fingers. Uh, press harder. <laughs> Always. So nobody knows more about the thief than you, huh? You got it, pal. Except maybe for the thief's <laughs> mom, that is. Yeah, your mom. <laughs> But isn't there someone who knows even more about him than the police? You don't mean Detective Zvadi, do you? Hmm. Who is this person? Zvari? <laughs> he sounds German. His name is Luke at me, sir. I guess I, I should have made up such a silly name for him. Oh, shoot. What the heck? I guess he's not all that famous after all. Anyway, it's true that he did manage to retrieve the lost item the thief stole. Oh, I see. It seems you're not the expert you claim to be. <laughs> uh, uh, it looks Oof. like the thief is toying with me, even now. Have you seen, have you seen all of these so-called calling cards? Of course I have. Except... The person in charge of the treasure exhibit never brought their cards to the police. So, I didn't see this one until after the crime occurred. That's because Detective Atme stopped Miss Andrews from taking it to the police. The calling card that Lordly, that Lordly Taylor received authentic? Well, all the cards have one common identifying feature. But we're not releasing the information to the general public. But you're absolutely certain that this card is real. Gumshi can't say it out loud, but I bet he's talking about Mask Star the Mask's emblem. Fifth heist. Fifth heist. heist. And your fifth screw up, huh? <gasps> Phoenix! You're so mean! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Objection, pal! That ain't fair! Maybe you could say I screwed up four times. But this last time wasn't my fault. I didn't know about the calling card this time. You of all people shouldn't be chuckling about this, Detective, Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> I just want everyone here in the courtroom to know something. If you ever get a calling card from this guy, don't call some stupid private eye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Call your local police right away, got me? Wow, it looks like he's really got it in for Detective <laughs> yeah. at me. Oh, he hates him. <laughs> he hates him. Got some beef with him. Mm -hmm. Art pieces, like what, for example? Well, his first target was the famous Tear of Eminon. 
What's that? Some kind of especially salty teardrop? No, sir. It's a blue diamond. A single rare diamond. Next was the crown of Bongora. You know, the thing you put on your head. After that was the left hand of Hades, and then the portrait of Magina, sir. Detective Atme retrieved the portrait of Magina and returned it to the museum. But it's a fake. <clears throat> that is. <laughs> and the target of his fifth and last robbery was the sacred urn, right? But isn't it difficult for him to dispose of such famous art pieces? Well, we assume he must have had some underworld connections. Somehow, Mr. Delight doesn't look like the type. Yeah, he's a little too sunny to be hanging out in the underworld. The black market. <laughs> mm -hmm. M.O. to a T. What do you mean when, it, when you say it fits his M.O. to a T? I was thinking of asking the same thing myself. Ugh, I wish you would listen a little more closely, pal. <laughs> First of all, there's the calling card. We're 100% certain it's authentic. Then there's the fact that he seemed to know all about the security system. And finally, his target was an art piece. Those are all of the- oh, I'm sorry. These are all part of the thief's modus operandi. 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 <clears throat> and so, since- since this robbery- Wait, okay, and so, since this robbery seems, seems to fit all these- those conditions- bleh. Oh gosh, we're just tripping over ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it means that Mask Star the Mask is behind it. Nick, it definitely looks like it was Mask Star the Mask who stole the urn. But there's no real evidence either way as to whether Run the Light is Mask Star the Mask. But, but... Also, the urn hasn't turned up yet, let alone in connection with to Mr. Delight himself. So even though we know it was Mask Star to Mask that did it? Maybe for the time being, I should try to show it wasn't Mask Star to Mask that did it. Hmm. Okay, uh, well. okay, uh, how do we- gonna... how do we know- th oh, no monetary value, that's <laughs> good. Okay. Yeah. Objection, your honor. Can I ask you a little something, Detective Gumshoe? Just hearing the little of that question is making me nervous. Good, you should be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you said that he always goes after the most precious art pieces, right? That's right, pal. But there's one problem. That's not what he did in this case. The supposedly priceless urn doesn't exactly rise to the level of precious art. W what do you mean? Nick, how can you say <laughs> such a terrible thing? She starts pitching, like, the inside of his arm. <laughs> like, like can, take your feelings out of this. <laughs> it's worthless. <laughs> no, I meant from a financial point of view. I mean, it wouldn't fetch a good price. Well, pr Prosecutor Godot, what is the value of that urn? The appraisers I spoke to said they couldn't attach a price to it. And I mean that in the worst sense. So in other words, it was not the kind of item that Mask Star to Mask would normally go after. Oh. Hmm, if I understand you correctly, Mr. Wright, you're saying that the, th the theft of the Sacred Urn was not the work of Mask Star to Mask. I yes, that's what I'm saying. Actually, all I did was point out the contradiction. The argument made itself, but... It's okay. Well... That's like half of the work. First of all... <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, we need to get this issue cleared up. Was this last robbery the work of Mask Star to Mask or not? What do you have to say about this, Mr. Godot? I don't know. This coffee you should, here... You should get some coffee. It's my own special blend. I call it Godot number 107. I'm trying to decide whether to cut down on the acidity or the bitterness. Hmm, the bitterness. <laughs> That's the only thing I've got on my mind right now, Mr. Trite. What? what? <laughs> if you're really a man, you should clean up your own mess. Um, sorry, but I don't get what you mean. 
If you were saying it wasn't Mad Star to Mad's dad stole the urn, then it must be someone imitating Mad Star to Mad's methods. A fake. Oh, 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 fake star to mask. <laughs> fake star to mask? That sounds so ridiculous. But I like it. <laughs> now, before I decide on my copy, I believe some proof is in order, Mr. Trite. Proof that the person who appeared at Lordly Taylor that night was actually a fake. Hmm. Though I don't approve of Mr. Gudo's behavior, his point is valid. Mr. Wright, we're waiting. I don't know. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we're already saving. <laughs> right now. Okay, well, I have to prove. <laughs> oh, I need proof that need... the person at Lordly Taylor that night was, in fact, fake Star Damask. How? Wait, do we have anything that just straight up says fake star damask? Um I need proof. I mean, is this a profile one? Is, is this I don't think it could be a proof. Uh Try it. What is this? Oh, look, he doesn't have the big old emblem on his chest. Oh, you're right! <laughs> <laughs> what? Hold uh, on! Right? Is that I don't know if we could say that, though. That is a good question. Hold up. What was this? That big ol'... Yeah, it's a dumb-looking <laughs> thingy on it. Is there another picture room? Mm. Other than that? I mean... Uh... Can't tell. No, I can't tell from there. Uh, you know what? Whatever, we'll present it. See what happens. Proof is right here. <laughs> Probably. This looks like a photo taken by a security camera. But if you look closely, you'll notice something peculiar. 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 I can't say it. I don't. Why can't I not? It's peculiar. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Huh. Well then, why don't you go ahead and show us what it is? Go on, use this pointer and show us what what about this is peculiar. <laughs> it's right here, of course. I probably would have missed it if I was playing by myself. <laughs> I, I I guess... That's, re that's the reason why when Maya was like, look at my glossy photo, I was just like, wow, look at that dumb looking emblem right there in the middle. And then I look at that and go, yeah. oh! <laughs> you mean mask star to mask? I have here a piece of reference I would like to the court to take a look at. Isn't that the publicity photo I bought this morning? You actually bought it? Okay, Maya. Bought this morning? <laughs> you don't have to look so impressed, Maya, jeez. <laughs> The problem I have with the security camera photo is the brooch on Damask's chest. A breach! Here! Bailiff! Get my steed! We need to retreat at once! He's hard of hearing. A, a brooch, your honor. It's a sort of clasp for holding one's cape on. A clasp, eh. Ah! I see now! But the mask started to mask at the security camera photo. Oh! He has no brooch! Oh, that brooch is the same as the emblem on Damascus' calling card and serves as his symbol. But the thief that broke into Lordly Taylor wasn't wearing a brooch. In other words, this masked star Damask is a fake! I've been fooled again! <laughs> Oh, order! It's true. Undeniably true. Detective Gumshoe, how- how could you have overlooked this? I I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know how I- Hey, now. If you're gonna have a pity party, invite me, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mr. Godot, you deserve some blame in this too! How could you have overlooked such a large brooch? Ha! Huh. The brooch you're talking about? Do you mean this? Why are you hiding stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Th that's Mask Star to Mask's brooch! W where did you find it? Well, I've always had a good nose for evidence. I got it at the crime scene. What? <laughs> <laughs> it was hidden in the shadow of a big female Buddha statue. Buddha statue? You must mean the Ami Fei statue. Why did you tell me about that, sir? I always put evidence away in my pocket. I'm sure that's legal. <laughs> <laughs> After all, it's the safest place for crucial evidence. Uh, this guy is one cool customer. I think he's one cool cucumber. I know, I was about to say cucumber too. <laughs> it's a little early to be shaken up, isn't it, little girl? Or little lady? That friend of yours left pretty little... Ew. What? Uh, what? Oh, <laughs> uh, what? That friend of yours left pretty little hickeys on there, too. H hickeys? Figuratively speaking, of course. I'm referring to Rondelai's fingerprints. Why didn't you just say, say that? that, man? Just say that! What? <laughs> <laughs> uh? What? The defendant's fingerprints are on the brooch. Wabble, wabble, wabble. Order. Order in the court. Wabble, wabble, wabble. Mr. Godot, let's see that brooch. I've grown attached to my metallic girlfriend here. Take good care of her. Okay. <laughs> she, I, I mean it, appears to have been torn off some clothing. There's a little bit of cloth left on the back. Obviously, there must have been a big struggle that night at the crime scene. Uh-oh. Phoenix, we have a problem. Found in the shadow of Ami Fei's statue, looks like it was torn off. It was torn off of off of some. Cl <laughs> <laughs> I can't read today. <laughs> you mess with Godot. You mess with coffee, and you get burned oh. by coffee. By coffee, he just literally throws a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. He's been playing me like a violin. Well, Judge, I'm about ready to call my next witness. Huh? You're done with me? But I haven't proved anything yet. You don't have to prove anything. Just... <laughs> <laughs> You've proven well, your own incompetence. That's good enough. Yeah, we're so mean to Gumshoe. They're so mean to him. This is the reason why he left the series. <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all. Bailiff, bring the next witness into the courtroom. Finally, time for the ace detective to- Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> it's oh, him? Oh no. Why? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hold on, let and me take a drink of water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do that. Here we go. <coughs> one, uh -huh. one second is one drip of the coffee pot. Let's hurry it up. I'll try my best. Shh! Silence! <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. <laughs> What's clear? Zvadi. The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. <laughs> what we have here is a judge and a prosecutor. A coffee maniac at that. Am I correct? Well, yes, that's right. Ha, huh, not bad. Not bad at all. It's all just basic ob- <laughs> <laughs> You're the first person that's ever been able to penetrate my secret veil. Hmm, I think everyone else was too intimidated. <laughs> well, sir, prosecutor, let me introduce myself. My name is Luke Atby. Ace Detective and Rising Star illuminating the heavens. 
boy, these two make a perfect pair. They'd either be best friends or they'd tear each other's heads off. I've heard that on the night of the crime you were all alone on security detail. You have heard correctly. I specially made monocle is worth more than a hundred detective gum shoes. Oh shoot, the real Matt on guard is here. Hey lawyer dude. <laughs> What's up, Matt on guard? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> if Detective Gumshoe was worth anything, that is. Hmm. Why was this guy all by himself anyway? There must be some reason. I'm sure of it. Well then, tell us what the special monocle of yours witnessed. I witnessed. <laughs> what I witnessed. <laughs> It was approximately one o'clock in the morning, just after the date changed. That's when my nemesis, the infamous Master Damas, dancingly descended upon me. Just as I began to turn, the coward struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I awoke, he was gone. Can you make it more concise? Just, just... <laughs> no! Allow me my <laughs> drama! Okay. <laughs> 30 minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. Oh, that's it. See? Oh. Easy. Done. Easy. Okay. So you didn't get a clear look at the criminal. My specially made monocle never misses a thing. Are you gonna say there's a camera in there? <laughs> However... That is limited to things that fall within my own visual range. Okay, how's it? <laughs> but of course, that's only natural. I'm only human, after all. <laughs> I fail to see why the witness seems so proud of his performance that evening. <laughs> <laughs> Judge, actually. Well, <laughs> sir, old timer, let me explain. We are not speaking of any ordinary thief. I would like to cross examine right now. <laughs> But of the king of thieves, the great Master Damask, my arch enemy. Not as what my instincts and my years of experience tell me. Maybe that's why we thought it was years. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably why. It's because this guy literally, like, over-conflated it. Hmm, very well. Proceed with the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Thank you, Judge. Press everything! <laughs> I think I like acting like this guy. He's fun. He's like a theater major, you know? Well, you can continue. <laughs> that would be 1 o'clock on the morning of the 12th, correct? That's an impressive deduction, sir lawyer. I just want facts, man. <laughs> You're on security d duty that night. Where exactly were you at the time? A penetrating question. I was in the basement warehouse near the computer. Computer. Near the computer, huh? So then, you weren't trying to remain hidden, I take it? Up to this point, I have tried to remain concealed while waiting for the thief. Yeah, he said the same thing yesterday, too. Gumshoe also said that they never spotted the thief at the crime scenes before. Precisely! That is precisely why I chose not to hide last night. I knew that by not concealing myself, I would be putting pressure on the thief. Looks like the thief was the one applying pressure. On your pigeon -y head, that is. <laughs> In any case... Oh, right. I, I thought you were going to say more. Yeah, I know, I thought so too. Press this. Dancingly descended. From where, exactly? Well... From the entrance, I suppose. Where else? So in actuality, he neither danced nor descended. Someone please save me. <laughs> um, so how is it that you didn't notice the thief? My eyes were looking for the thief's shadow while my ears listened for his footfalls. But even so, that dastardly criminal managed to sneak up on me. It can only be due to his subtly, sub, subtly, sub, subtly, 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 okay, 
camouflage <laughs> cape and soft-soled shoes. Okay. I hereby dub you Ace Dunce. <laughs> Noble head. <laughs> Noble head. You didn't see the criminal's face when that happened. Well, that's the difficult part. How should I put it? I saw his mask. That's all I can recall. Hmm, that's not very solid as far as testimony goes. However, fortunately, I had my third monocle. The security camera at the ready. It captured his image perfectly. This should be sufficient, I believe. Hmm. Well, as long as this photo is authentic, I don't see a problem here. Well, Mr. Goodo, do you have a problem with the photo? Good. <laughs> that looks good to you in the hospital. <laughs> okay. I like how that acted as like a no. That's pretty good. <laughs> Cracked and knocked unconscious, and you weren't able to do a thing. That's certainly some very impressive detective work. Hmm. Well, sir, lawyer, have you ever been suddenly struck on the head? Actually, um, yeah, yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has. Huh? Well, actually, yes, by a fire extinguisher. And what happened? I I was knocked out. <laughs> And you lost your memory, too. <laughs> you see, you have no right to look down on me then, do you? No, I still do. <laughs> the only reason I didn't lose my memory was because I have more brains to begin with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he may have brains, but the wiring to the self-reflection part seems to be severed. In any case, that was how I was knocked senseless, and then... And then... 30 minutes later! <gasps> About this 30 minutes... My silver cord was loosened and my soul fled to the golden halls of Elysium. Translation, please. <laughs> As usual, I have no idea what this guy is saying. I think he's saying that he was out cold. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, what happened during these 30 minutes? No one can say, your honor. That span of time has truly vanished into the aether. Just what is he going on about? There's something suspicious about Detective Atme. How could he have not have noticed when the thief came in? Also, he says he was knocked unconscious before he could fight back. But that can't be right. It uh, does it? I don't. I zoned out. <laughs> Which evidence? Which piece? <laughs> Say Maya? I don't even know. The real question is why would he tell us such an- is it, Was it obvious? I don't know! I can't think! We're too busy acting. Okay, 1 o'clock just after the date changed, okay. Okay. That's okay. kind of correct. Dan Dancing way yeah, to okay. send it, okay, whatever. Uh, okay. Below. Birds. Did he call 30 minutes later? That's what he says. Is there anything to prove when he called? Uh... At around 1 a.m. Okay, that's about right. Hmm. There wasn't really anything that said when his call was, right? So... I mean, that's... He's exiting. At, at one. one. Yeah. Sorry. That's kind of a contradiction there. I just need to figure out. I mean... No. Could I present it there? Because he's not dancingly descending <laughs> at 1am. <a> <laughs> uh... I guess. I, I see what you were trying to go for, and I kind of- I agree with it. I just don't know... ...aware... I guess... I don't know. How, how, how many minutes does it take to knock someone out? Um, 
I don't even think it takes a I don't even think it takes a minute. <laughs> Thirty minutes later. There's nothing that we can prove for that one though, right? Yeah. I don't know where I should present it though. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just should I present it here. No, I'll just print it here. Well, well, we'll see if it's right or not. <laughs> Objection. No, I'm wrong. <laughs> Dang, no. Sad. Sad. The darkness swallowed me up one? That one's a weird one though. Cause that's when they started like questioning. I feel like that's when they were just like, hmm. Oh. Okay, never mind. I got struck. Okay. Oh, okay. Blah. This is about him being knocked out, lost memory, and then he talks about having brains. Okay. Yeah, more never brains. Mind. Was it the last? Yeah, I mean, the last, the last one they said it was. Or was that just like the loop? I think that's the loop one though. <laughs> 30 minutes. Oh yeah, maybe we could do the the camera, the first one. Yeah, <clears throat> with the camera. Like so what is it? The the, the picture? Yeah. Or the... No, that one. This one. Yeah. Oh, which statement? <laughs> I think this one? I, I want to try this one. Oh, dang. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oof. Okay, it'd be... If he was sitting where the computer is at, there's no way he would not have noticed. Yeah, yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah. I don't know what statement. Then maybe this one. Maybe this one. Yeah. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> no, we're, we're, maybe we're jumping ahead too much? Maybe, maybe we are. Which sucks, because we know where we want to go. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> well, did we save that far back? Oh no. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, let me just see what I have. Mm -hmm. Let me just check this. This doesn't have a date on it, but whatever. Anything about the 30 minutes. No. It's nothing important yet. Okay, I, I feel like we have the right evidence, but we're just presenting on the wrong one. Yeah, and that and I don't think there's like anything there wasn't anything obvious to to create a new statement, so none of them create a new statement. It's just that they don't, they're not really talking about the mode. Oh, well, I mean, I guess it'd be kind of weird because the statue- well, unless that's too far ahead. Because <laughs> all- well, the, the weapon, he had to grab the statue. That's right. But Maybe is that do... too far ahead? That, that seems too far ahead, but I guess you could try. That's too far ahead. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Our brains aren't working. <laughs> oh, my brain. This is how you can just turn the power, struck a fierce blue. Darkness on me. Hmm. Can you go back and press the first, the second statement? The dancingly descended one? Yes. From the 
entrance. I mean, okay, so... He feels like the guy came from the entrance, but he didn't notice him, so now I'm just like... <laughs> oh no... Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> mm. Okay. Here we go, approximately one in the morning. Uh, unless it's just here that I present this. I thought we did that earlier. Did we? Yeah. Chucks. Explode. Explode. <laughs> what? 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 It, it's probably something so obvious that I can't think it. it. It's. It probably is something super obvious. It's just because we're thinking so far ahead. Um. So as I began to turn. Uh, 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 uh. I feel like this last statement is important somehow, but I don't know how. Yeah, because 30 minutes is a lot of time in between. Nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> and it's so weird that the dude doesn't have like a going in and out kind of deal. Mm -hmm. But I think that's also too far ahead. So my nemesis did his best and last dance is late to send it upon me. Did you present? Um, the pic- you already presented the picture, right, of him yeah, exiting on this, on this one. one? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. And the uh, record. Yeah, and the record. I don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> Phoenix is like- there's such an obvious lie, and I was like, I don't know what the obvious lie is. Yeah, what is he <laughs> lying about? I'm not- I'm trying to figure out what he- what he was lying. The phone? The phone? The phone? But then, there's nothing- There's no phone records, I got nothing! Yeah, there's like nothing that says like, Ooh, here's the phone. <laughs> um... Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Mm. Try. Wait. Go to the court record again. <laughs> Please. Uh, go over the 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 statue. Hmm. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Nothing at all. Okay. Mm. Probably not about people yet. Um. Wait, one of these has. Click, click on the heist card thing. Like, yeah. enter? Hmm, nah. I thought there would be something on there, but that didn't make any sense anyway. Um. I just wish she'd say. Stuff plainly. Right. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. Maybe do the shi chi shi chi chi show. <laughs> shi chi shi to. <laughs> yeah, this one. It's not. Dang. It's not. <laughs> um. Mm. Alright. You know what? It's this one! Wait, did I already do this? <laughs> I thought, yeah. I think you already did this, like, on the spur of a moment kind of deal. Oh, man. Okay. How about... Could 
because technically we are taking his word for it that he got knocked out, right? It was moved the night of the crime. It's this one. <laughs> okay. Okay, press the very first one. The very first one. Press it. Just press it. One o'clock on the morning of the 12th. Yeah, press the detection. Where exactly were you at the time? I was in the basement warehouse near the computer. Mm -hmm. Near the computer. He was not hidden. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I never spotted the thief. Why I chose not to hide. Because he wanted to end in the day. The, the, the thief. Mm -mm -mm. So, he's saying that he was near the computer. And he was attacked near the computer. The guy came from the entrance and managed to attack him there. But why was he turning if he was facing the entrance? I don't understand. I don't get it either. I'm, I don't know what to present here to be like- This one! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay. Um... Okay, okay. <clears throat> did, I, did I already present the picture here? No, he didn't. <laughs> no. Dang. Okay. Um, okay, maybe it's not the picture then. Alright, um... So, picture is out, because you already presented a picture of all of them. Did I? <laughs> I think so. Probably. Did I present it here? You could try. <laughs> I think I, don't I did. I, don't I, I feel like you did, but... <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I did. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay. That's not the picture. We ruled that one out. <laughs> I don't think it's this statement. I feel like... <sighs> you think it's this weird one? I mean, the last two are kind of weird. The last two are, are very weird. I think those are the ones that are the weakest in his statements, but... I don't even know what to present. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What do we have again? <laughs> Statue, mm -hmm. thing, calling card, mm -hmm. camera data. Mm -hmm. That's not important. I feel like only these terrain items are important. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh yeah, it says the back of the head, but I think I already presented it here, right? You did, yeah. <laughs> Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I woke, he was gone. I mean, that makes sense. He wouldn't stay around. Right. That makes sense. And if it was already 30 minutes later, which we can't disprove, then okay. So technically, okay. the last two we can't do anything about, but... But... Maybe... the third? I mean, this one's weird, or too. Or the second <laughs> like... statement? Maybe one of those? Ugh! But what do I present? Dancingly descended upon me. Dancingly descended on you. Why is he so flourishy with the words? Hi, Ray. Hi, Mew. Welcome to Ace You're Attorney. Okay. Hi, While we're racking we're so our brains dumb. out. <laughs> we are literally stuck. Oh my god. Oh, how stuck. have we not presented? Uh, we have not- Well, I presented the weapon on some of them. And yeah. The statue for one of them. But I don't think we can do anything about the, the statue. I mean, that's not that's not important. I the don't first think so. two are important. The urn's not important. The calling card. Urn's already out. Important. 
I'm... Mm. Oh, we did the camera data for some of them. I feel like the camera data has to be it. There's no way. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y'all still on this wonder. case? Yeah, so we're, we're finally starting the trial part of this case. We've been doing investigation up to this point. But, uh, Mr. Luke at me here be making us rack our brains. Oh, wait, I already presented the picture here. I was about to present it again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, it's approximately one o'clock in the morning, just after the date changed. That's true. That's... I mean, like, I feel like that's the contradiction of, like, at one o'clock he descended upon him. Yeah, that is. A, I agree because but that picture didn't do anything. This is one o'clock is when he was taking it, right? And then we presented the camera data here. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Let's try again. Because <laughs> <laughs> we have short-term memory and we don't remember what we did. Oh. Uh. This is when it's turn the coward struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. I wish you had like an x-ray, you know? So you could prove that you were attacked. Mm -hmm. We had it on our list. Oh. Darkness swallowed me. I'm so tempted to just look it up. <laughs> I know, me too. Me too! I, I just need like a little smidge of a hint. <laughs> Is uh, there a hint button in this option in this menu? <laughs> no, there isn't. Thirteen minutes later, I use okay. okay. If we use our hint, we use it once. Is this gonna be our hint? Okay, never mind. Want me to throw Among Us at him? <sighs> Gosh. Okay. Why are we so dumb? We're we're we're, we're losing it, dude. We're losing our time. <laughs> I was like, this is gonna be easy, and then he has this whole flourishy language, and I'm just like, why is it so weird? Yeah. Yeah. He, he be saying too much. I mean, did we present- We were presenting camera data here, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, we did. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Approximately one o'clock in the morning. So Dancingly descended. Dancingly descended. Fierce blow, noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. Oh my it's god. Like, I guess the lie is like he's fighting back. Yeah, so the lie is. Okay, here, here's the hint, okay? Because I looked it up because I, I gave up. No, I got it. I. You're right. <laughs> I you're it. on the right. You're on the right track. You are. So is it here, the statement? So we were right that it's either the third or fourth statement because they're all funky, right? But for sure, we were on it. It's just the idea is that we he says that he wasn't able to do anything, but he was able to do something. What do you think he was able to do? Look, what was he page. able to- my, my second page? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm just like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that piece of evidence that just went right before his testimony. <laughs> right. Ah. Uh. Mister at me. <laughs> Could you take a look at this with that special monocle of yours? I'm just gonna sound defeated the entire. <laughs> the rest of the stream. Aha! This belongs to the criminal mastermind, my arch nemesis, Master Damask. I hate you. <laughs> it is in point of fact. Oh, sorry. It is in point of- oh, I read that right. Master Damask <laughs> brooch! It was found on the floor of the basement warehouse. I wonder how that happened. Huh. Elementary, my dear lawyer. Obviously, it wasn't glued on well enough. Not quite. It clearly shows signs of having been ripped off a piece of clothing. Rip, ripped off. Aha! Can I deduce that the thief struggled with someone that night? 
That's the only thing I can think of. And there's only one person that was in a position to have a struggle with the thief. The only person that was on security duty that night, you, Detective at me. <laughs> you made me lose half my life. <laughs> Detective at me, you must have fought with the thief that night. So why did you lie in your testimony to the court? Witness, giving false testimony is a serious crime. Uh, I... No! Wait just a moment, sir, old timer. Don't talk to me like I'm living in a nursing home! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered your honor. Yes, that's what I thought. <laughs> I was just confused because I've been dealing with so many cases lately. So many, so many. The true measure of a man is in the amount of work he does. And that's what I always say. Uh -huh. Nick, you can only handle one case at a time. Isn't that right? Wow. You talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Witness, so are you now saying that you and the thief fought? Hold on. That's quite enough. Your honor. Uh, excuse me? Save the big questions for the testimony. That's one of my rules. Indeed, I understand. I, look at me, agree completely. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Fight with the thief. Alright. Indeed, it's true that I looked away from the door for a brief moment. However... Look at me cannot be so easily discombobulated. Discombobulated. <laughs> Unfortunately, the thief grabbed the weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. senseless. From the side. A true gentleman fights only with his own fists, but they were not enough. His first blow struck true. Bam! And that's all she wrote. Uh. So in the end, you did catch a glimpse of Mask Star Damask? Correct. It was during his third crime that he struck me from behind. Third crime? It seems that my memory has become a tad jumbled, so to speak. Hmm, well, that's certainly understandable. I, myself, always get confused about which testimony goes with which case. That's scary. That, that can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, this guy was not guilty. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Sheesh. Ooh, I like the music. So, why did you look away from the door anyway? In addition to the camera, I had prepared a variety of other sensors as well. That's news to me. The alarm on one of those had gone off, so I had to check the data. One of those? What are you looking- what, what are I'm you referring to? The camera? One of those. One of those. The camera- there's only one camera! The- the camera! <laughs> the only camera! <laughs> That's why I went to the computer! Elegantly, of course. So that was when he was exiting. So you were momentarily vulnerable when you were working on the computer. I mean, the space is even that big. Um... About the sensor? What kind of sensors are you talking about? There are other places in the basement that someone could enter and exit from. Oh. There are air conditioner ducts, sewer pipes, and a cat door as well. Was there a cat door? <laughs> I hooked up a heat-detecting infrared and ultraviolet sensor to each of them. That's a lot of hardware. Was it all yours? Lordly Taylor Department Store was kind enough to provide the monitoring, the monitoring hardware. Naturally, the security camera that took the photo belongs to them as well. Other words, you couldn't have rigged the equipment, huh? <laughs> Has that cleared up any doubts you had about me, Sir Lawyer? 
No. Uh, should I question the other thing? I'll question the other thing. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, blah, you're gonna ask about the computer? Computer. So that computer belonged to Lordly Taylor as well. Correct. Well, except for the program that manages the data. That was especially designed by me. Look at me. In that case, he could have easily manipulated the data. <laughs> what's wrong, Sir Lawyer? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong anymore. <laughs> oh, what, is, what does that mean? Discombobulated. It's exactly what it sounds like, Phoenix. <laughs> hmm, young people these days, they really irritate me. Same here, Judge. They allow perfectly good old words to die until everyone forgets what they mean. For real, Judge! Preach it! Sorry, but what exactly does it mean anyway? Now I've forgotten. What was I saying? <laughs> He's all discombobulated. Jesus, it's better than old people forget what they were saying five seconds ago. His dementia, leave him alone. <laughs> well, it looks like we've cleared that up. You can go on with your testimony. But what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Phoenix. He's only 25 years old. Actually, I think he's 26 in this one. Mm. Oh yeah, 26. <laughs> what do you mean by weapon from the side? Naturally, the thief had no idea that I, look at me, was hiding in the arena. Oh, sorry, the area. <laughs> He grabbed the sword from the statue that was standing by the door to the warehouse. Okay. Sword. You mean the sword that was all twisted like a tree branch? Correct. Unfortunately, er, fortunately for me, the blade was not sharp. Okay, so he is talking about the Shichishito. <laughs> so the thief armed himself with a sword. And what about yourself, witness? With his beasts. With his beast. He's doing the fisticuffs. You had that much faith in your own fighting abilities? But of course, in college, I was the second in charge of the boxing club. Doubtful. <laughs> I'm sorry if I failed to find that appropriate, appropriately impress impressive. However, my opponent in the ring this time was my arch nemesis, Master Damask. This guy is a real piece of work. Alright. First blow struck true. Bam! Bam! Can you tell us a little more about what happened? My opponent was both powerful and vicious. You might say he was powericious. Hmm. Powericious. I assumed the at me fighting stance, but a sudden flash of light blinded me. That sounds important. That does sound important. That, of course, was checkmate! My opponent had bested me! Uh... You were blinded. So what was this flash of light that blinded you? I was bathed in a golden light that seemed to come from the statue of that woman. Statue of Ami Fei, I'm guessing. Well, that wasn't very much help at all. Well, what do you think, Nick? I don't know what I think. <laughs> well, there's one thing that I'm absolutely sure of now. Yeah? What is it? I have no idea. <laughs> this Luke at me guy, he's definitely hiding something. Oops. Why? <laughs> I think I'm starting to figure out what really happened that night. I, I'm not. And about the true nature of this detective. True nature. I, I want to know. Sudden light? Okay. I was hoping that would add to the... Me too. Powerless. I wanna know about your at me fighting style. Ooh, I will take a drink, <laughs> Mew. Thank you. Take a drink, Oh, no, I should donut. do. What is this at me fighting style? I'm sorry, but that's a trade secret. I really can't say anymore. But... I suppose I can tell you if I absolutely must. Yes, you absolutely must. The main thing is to put your back to the wall. That way, no one can get behind you. Interesting. 
That's it? That's the at me fighting style? It was very important because it gave me that pop-up. <laughs> Wait, but the light did it? No, it didn't. I don't know why. That's interesting. Okay. This is important. We've learned a detective's secret technique after all. Yes, indeed. I'll remember to use it if I ever take a walk alone late at night. How did the light not... <laughs> why the heck is he eyeballing me like that? It's creeping me out. <laughs> Now that witness, we'll go ahead and add that secret information to your official testimony. Okay, th but the light wasn't added? Yeah, I thought the light would be more important. Okay, what's that now? Um, where is this third eye you're talking about? I didn't even read what he said. Oh. It's right between my <laughs> right and left eyebrows. <laughs> it's quite invisible to the unenlightened. You may call it the forehead if you like. Uh huh. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? Sir Lawyer! It looks like the creases in your own forehead are getting deeper. Here, right, I have to smooth them out. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Abby got hit on the forehead then? That's what he says. Hmm, I got a funny feeling about that. Actually, so do I. I think we know. Well, what do you think, Nick? Well, there's one thing I'm out of. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That he's lying! He's a filthy he liar! <laughs> <laughs> so, that, that's the statement. Yeah, that has the to be the statement. landed upon my third eye. My third eye! And where's your, where's your bruise to your forehead, then? It healed quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Detective at me. Your just your testimony is crumbling like a house of cards. <laughs> what fun is this, lawyer? Oh, sorry, sir, lawyer. It is truly a pleasure to cross swords with you. And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlet at my armored feet. Uh huh. I believe this is what she said yesterday. No, no, no the blah, coward blah, blah. must have wiped his way and threw somewhere besides the door. Then my aunt's nemesis struck me on the head from behind with his gruesome item here. From behind, huh? But just now you testified that he struck you on the forehead. I hardly think he could forget where you were hit on the head. Ugh. It's, it seems I I've made another mistake. Ha ha ha. Sure. <laughs> Detective Amy, that's not the only strange part of your testimony. It's not. <laughs> really? What else was there? Yeah, what a, a, a judge over here. <laughs> oh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> no, don't start. Don't start something, Phoenix. We're not ready for that. For example. The very fact that you hid the calling card from police itself is strange. Okay. Okay, I can get behind there. It's almost as if you were afraid they were gonna help with security. Ugh. Geniuses such as myself have always mi been misunderstood. How sad. That's wrong! Objection! Oh, okay. So deep. Objection! <laughs> <laughs> to err as human, to forgive, divine. I wasn't expecting such a deep voice. I know, it's so low. Humans are machines. They have I souls, feelings. They live, they die, they love, they hate. And yes, they even make mistakes. Hey, hold on. It's not as pretty as that. Oh. Really? <laughs> what is it like then? Always chase a riddle down to the end. That's one of my rules. Go, 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 go. This is it. This might just be my chance to turn things around. Mr. Wright, what exactly is it that you're asserting? I don't know. But very well, Your Honor. Defense asserts that. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, you 
want to go all in. What do you mean by all in? <laughs> I mean, it's right there, bro. Look at that. I... All you... in. <laughs> all in. All in? All you, in. You mean that he's masked the mask? <laughs> <sighs> all in. He's a fake? But I don't know, he seems too stupid if he masked the mask too. Like, come on. <laughs> I'm trying to Oh, oh, he's a fake. He's a fake. <laughs> so now it's not just masks or the mask. You're saying I'm a fake too. Where are your credentials? <laughs> An ace detective could never be as forgetful as this guy. Imposters like you are often suspicious of others as well. Really? This is too much. Next you'll be calling me a fake too. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> All in. All in. Um. All in. All in. <laughs> <gasps> He's no ace detective at all. What is and read the dialogue. <laughs> Dots. So then, what exactly are you saying that I am? Well, an average detective. <gasps> <laughs> Partly see the relevance of that. What are you doing, Nick? Weren't you going to go on the attack? All in? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I wanted to read the dialogue. I was planning on it, but it looks like I'm the one who got attacked instead. <laughs> we have oh, enough God. points for it. What are you talking about? <laughs> We are living on the edge. The answer is simple. It's all clear to me now. It's all clear. <laughs> it's all clear. Detective Luke at me's true identity is actually Mask Star the Mask. <laughs> <laughs> Order. Order in the court. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? There are too many unnatural parts to Mr. at me's story. He says he was hiding at the crime scenes, which is why no one ever saw him there. And then, in his last case, he manages to outperform Detective Gumshoe and the entire police force to miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure. That's because... I analyzed the crime scene data and made an exquisitely elegant deduction. I picked up clues that the police overlooked in order to arrive at a... Oh, please. The explanation is far simpler than that, Detective at me. The truth is that you are, in fact, Mask Star the Mask. Oh. But, but Mr. Wright, th th this photo, it clearly shows Mask Star the Mask. Security, this security camera belongs to Lordly Taylor Department Store. He shouldn't have been able to manipulate it. He didn't need to manipulate it gained access to the warehouse under the pretense of providing security. Then he simply dressed up as a thief and stole their urn. So the ace detective is actually an ace thief! Is this true, witness? But... Uh -huh. You're right, how does the mask... Oh. Mm. <laughs> the mouse Lumbo is beyond genius, and so am I. Look at me, Ace Detective. <laughs> You're very clever to have come to such a conclusion. I am Repressor Lawyer. What? <laughs> Witness, you... You're admitting it? Nick, now's your chance. My chance for what? <laughs> Yeah, yes. Time to put the uh, nail in the coffin, yes. <laughs> Detective at me, when you assume the thief's identity. Ow. Ow. Did he slap us? <laughs> oh! <gasps> he did throw coffee! He did throw the coffee. <laughs> Godot Blen number 102. My personal favorite. <laughs> Mr. Godot! 
the ace detective is actually an ace thief. I smell a best-selling novel. There's only one problem. It simply isn't true. But, but Mr. Godot, Mr. Wright has made some very <laughs> strong stunned. points. And he, I... <laughs> he's like, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I... <laughs> I will admit my opponent was wo has woven a compelling narrative out of the whole cloth. But it is, in fact, nothing more than patchwork quilt, Mr. Trite. If this detective really is the thief, then show us the proof of your claim. But it better be as hot and as perfect as the coffee dripping down your face. Oh uh, yeah. Hold on, let me save again. <laughs> <laughs> this court would like to see this decisive proof you have quickly. Huh? Oh, y yes, of course. What's the big rush? Are you all right, Nick? At me looks pretty rattled right now. I like to finish this right now if I can. Can I really do it? No. Decisive evidence that proves Mr. Luke at me is in fact a mass started mass has yet to be ha has found. yet to be found <laughs> because I'm like I don't even know proof of course I, I I've got nothing <laughs> that is as <laughs> honest he is yet huh just what I thought a man has to hold his head up high no matter how bad things get after all. Uh, I see. I thought perhaps you had some evidence to back up your assertion. <laughs> this is no good. I've got to stay on the attack. I'll never get another chance to prove that this guy is the thief. Don't give up, Nick. Think, think harder and try again. Do I actually have to present something? I think you something? actually have to present something. Oh. This is no good. I'm just not ready yet. What? Are, are you going to just give up and let loose? Let us lose it? Let us lose this. Oh my god. <laughs> So, you come to your senses, have you, Sir Boya? No, I, uh, uh, I can't think of a counterattack at all. Seems the cloud of suspicion surrounding this witness has lifted. Mr. Goodell, if you have anything further to add, then. Who, who? Who are you? That doesn't really matter right now, does it? Miss Delight, what are you doing here? Nikki boy! The thing you've been looking for, I think I found it. His bag. Alright, we were trying to scrounge around. That's right. I mean, and then we just saw. Yeah. What was it? It was like smooth and round and hard, right? That's. I don't remember. That was <laughs> what we. What, what Phoenix was able to touch anyway. A bowling ball, that's what it seemed like. <laughs> you mean that bag? No, not the bag. What's in the oh. bag? Well, they painted it. And it's correct. It's fixed. Hmm. Look, th that's. The secret urn! Nick, it's the urn! And it's fixed! But it's got paint on it. Order, order, order. You, madame! That urn, where did you find it? You'll never believe it. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants detective, Luke Atme. Oh, Gussie, you're the best. <laughs> Has pink splotches all over it. Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. Atme? <laughs> <laughs> Even you're going to have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Objection! Ah, Objection! Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Godot, do you have something that you wish to say? Yes, your honor. It simply amazes me how quickly times change. In the old days, a man was to be taken at his word. It's truly sad. You're still denying that Mr. Atme was involved? Before casting a aspersions. aspersions. Ah, uh, detective at me. Consider the young lady here. Your name is Desiree, 
Desiree Delight, is that correct? Yes! What about it? Huh. How charming. The lengths that a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. But what are you insinuating? As the wife of the criminal, you could have discovered that stolen urn anywhere. Including the office of the good detective here. Pull up ideas, sneeze. Never mind, it went away. Shocks. Bless you. Mm. Bless no, you. It's, it's too early. I can't sneeze anymore. Watermelon. <laughs> so you found the urn. What does that prove? certainly doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. You found it. What? I just brought it here for the detective's office. Please, madame. This town is already filled to the brim with lies. Any more could only compound the tragedy we have been witness to. You're wrong. I would never... I would never do such a thing. Miss Delight. Please, Nicky boy. You've got to help me. You got, blah, blah, blah. You've got to help me talk some sense into these people. There must be some way. I've got to prove that Erin was actually in the Atme Detective Agency. Uh. I don't think it would count if you say that you saw it there, right? Uh, I don't think that would matter. Show fingerprints with Lithery. Is he wearing gloves? Uh, I mean, I guess fingerprints would be the best way about it, though. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a valid choice. It is a valid choice. Probably not the Phoenix Wright choice, but the valid one. I can prove where the urn was by the fingerprints on it. I already feel like it sounds dumb. But wait, isn't <laughs> it? Don't doesn't it? Don't we have our fingerprints on it too? Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fingerprints, eh? <laughs> Now, you're really making me laugh, Sir Lawyer. Fingerprints indeed! He does have gloves. May I go on? Good. Now, it would be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was first guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I'm always in the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. Yeah. He wiggles his fingers. So unfortunately, <laughs> my fingerprints would be evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Wright? This witness... This witness's fingerprints would be nothing anyway. Nick, what are you gonna do now? I've come too far to turn back now. I mean, must have brought the urn back to his office yesterday. And there, I'm sure someone must have left their fingerprints on it. Us. Mine! Me. Okay. Wow. Wow! Okay. Me! <laughs> so what is this all this fuss about fingerprints anyway? Mr. Atme, do you recall the events of yesterday? Hey, Nick, come, come on, on open it up! <laughs> hey, wait a minute, we can't just open his private property. Of course we can. Don't be such a funny daddy. This is such an important investigation. Well, what's in there? H hang on a sec, I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Ah, uh, hello there! True that I didn't get a chance to look in the bag at the time. But, I did touch what was inside. What? You touched it? Touched the butt. <laughs> Ooh, and I remember it. <laughs> I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. Well, uh, <clears throat> that was just... Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that urn. If my fingerprints are on there, then it proves that the urn was in Detective Atme's office. Objection! Objection! Well, even if your fingerprints are on the urn... It still doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. What did you say? 
it's not what I say, but what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the ex ex exhibition, said. Polished it until it was just about glowing! I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. If she polished it that much, she must have removed any and all fingerprints on it. And the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it after that was yesterday at the At Me Detective Agency. Huh. This blend, Godot blend number 107. I decided. It's a little too bitter after all. <laughs> order, order, order. I accept the defense's request. Bailiff, take this urn and... Wait! Wait a moment, your honor! There's no need for that. No need, you say? Precisely. I already know Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the urn. Why are you- What are you saying? Okay. Yes! I've finally broken him down! I, I, you should be suspicious, Phoenix. You should be suspicious, Phoenix. <laughs> Take a good oh. look, everyone! God, I don't like that look. <laughs> Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius! That was forced to create one by myself! Here I am! The tragic clown! This guy is nuttier than a fruitcake. You see, it was me all along! I am the one and only Mask on the Mask! <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed my little performance! <laughs> oh, he looks so happy oh. there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did he break down so quickly? Oh, well, <laughs> Mr. Goodo, what's Mr. Atme's condition? He's still in the lobby, laughing insanely, Your Honor. <laughs> I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. Well, it looks like the matter has been settled. I came per perilously, per per perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Why is he using the long words? Besmirching him with the title of thief. Thief. Nick, you were right after all. Yeah, I, I guess Mr. Delight really wasn't the thief. The court finds the defendant Mr. Ron Delight. No. You, or... Oh no. <laughs> or, um, I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but actually not right is what I was really trying to say. Oh no, he's not. This can't be happening. The thief, the sneaky, odious thief who's been stealing all the treasures. It's me, I'm him, I'm the one you want, I'm the thief, I tell you. So do it! Pronounce me guilty, please! I don't know what kind of kangaroo court y'all think this is. <laughs> <laughs> what? The truth! The, the, the true identity of the thief has already been proving. Please hurry and pass, judge. What are you talking about? I already confessed. I'm the thief, I tell you. No. <laughs> Run. His music starts playing. <laughs> Mr. Gato, <laughs> don't just stand there drinking coffee! Huh. Oh, hey there, Mr. Thief. Y yes yes sir If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean. If you are mass star to mask, then prove it. That's what it means. Y yes sir, I'll be happy to. He says he'll be happy to, Nick. It's kind of cute. He's 100% committed to his fantasy. <laughs> stop, 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 Phoenix! You're not supposed to feed into the delusion! <laughs> Good boy. Just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. I know, I know that! I, I won't fail, I swear! Okay then. Talk. We're all listening. 
Oh, well. Let's all have a listen to this confession. Oh my god. No, Judge, no. you were calling this a kangaroo court! No, Judge! <laughs> Start a mask identity. The truth is, I've been masked starting to mask all along. I mean, you can't prove that I'm not actually masked starting to mask, can you? I don't have an alibi for the night the urn was stolen, after all. I donned my costume that night and dancingly descended upon the scene of the crime. Oh, this guy. Look, you can see the see right there in the photo. That's me. No, As look. for my bro- <laughs> You don't have your lips there, dude. <laughs> As for my brooch, I snagged it on the door handle and it got torn off, that's all. Hmm. I don't like the direction this trial has taken. <laughs> Save your judge. <laughs> but, but this is how every trial goes, at least with me anyway. Huh. You're doing great. Hee 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 hee. Stop it, Mr. Gato. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> like I said, you're only going to get one chance to testify, alright? But if you make it through this with flying colors, I'll keep my promise, too. Now make sure you stay locked up in prison as the one and only true Mass Star Damask. Thanks so much, Mr. Gado. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. All right, Mr. Wright. I'm afraid it's time for the cross examination. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Luke always wears gloves, right? Does mask? The mask wear gloves? I think so. Yeah. You may think you're the real mask star, the mask, but your wife thinks you're delusional. Okay, just call him out. <laughs> I haven't told Dusty yet about my true identity, I mean. Believe me, I got my reasons. But the way your room is decked out, how could she not know about it? Hmm, even thieves have complicated family situations, I suppose. What should I do? It sounds like we're about to get sidetracked again. I don't know, press harder. <laughs> so why are you withholding the truth from your wife? Well, first of all, I don't think she'd believe me anyway. And second, if there's one thing that Desi absolutely detests, it's criminals. If that's the case, then why did you ever start thieving to begin with? Well, Desi is crazy about shopping. She's a real shopaholic. But she's the love of my life, Your Honor. I guess you could say I'm a Desi-holic. <laughs> so you do have a complicated family situation after all. Alright, that's enough. Please continue with your testimony. I beg of you. Aw, <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to be the one to show us the proof. You know, that you're... Uh, you know, that you're the real mass star to mass and not just some kind of obsessed fanboy. <laughs> hey now, that's not fair. Why have to do all the work anyway? Maybe because you're the one making the outrageous claim for a change. Come on, Nick. You know that Mr. Delight could have committed the crime. Yeah, just pronounce him guilty. I'm done, Your Honor. <laughs> You're the one with the fancy law degree. It's time to put her to work already. I need some kind of proof that Ron couldn't possibly be Mass Star Damask. Well, I guess if you had that kind of proof, we wouldn't still be here, would we? For the time being, maybe I need to shift strategy. I should try to show Mr. Delight couldn't have stolen the urn. Anyway, I don't have an alibi. That's not true. You've got no alibi. I've been a judge for a long time. And this is the first time I've ever heard of a defendant brag about having no alibi. But I tell you, I was in Lordly Taylor that night. Er, no. That's too vague even for me. To be more precise, I was down in the basement warehouse. Hold on. What is it, Nick? Where was Ron the Light when the crime happened anyway? If we can prove that he had an alibi after all, this would be a piece of cake. Well, you're right, but... Huh. Ha. 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 prove that? Wake up and smell the coffee. It's overpowering! 
Well, well, I think maybe I can. Excuse me, I just keep talking about the brain. <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you have evidence? Sh well, I, I don't want to present it now. I wanted to press the other statements, but... Nah, just press the other statements. Say no. <laughs> no. I have no evidence. Of course not! Don't be ridiculous! <laughs> I'm sorry, say, what am I apologizing for? You, witness, hurry up with your testimony already. Yeah, start yelling oh, at him. Sorry. Yell at him! He deserves it. Why is it that I'm always the one that has to apologize to everyone? In here? Because you caused this mess! <laughs> Dancingly descended. <laughs> Dancingly descended. From where exactly? Well, from the entrance, I suppose. Where else? So in actuality, he neither danced nor descended. Someone saved me. Again. I guess he thinks descended more sounds more heroic or thief life or something. A anyway, I was there at the crime scene, just like I said. Look, you can see in the photo. That's me. Without the lips. Without the lips. photo that was taken by the security camera at the crime scene. No doubt about it, that's Mass Star Damask. Yes, but don't forget there's something important missing. The real Mass Star Damask has a big brooch on his chest. As for my brooch, yeah, it got torn off. That's Still a pressing. lie. Lie. You didn't notice. You didn't notice it when your brooch was torn off. Huh? Well, I'm always a little nervous when I'm working. There's a bit of clothing left on the back side of the brooch. I don't think it could have been torn off that easily. Yes, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Right now we're trying to prove that Mr. Delight isn't the thief, right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Why does blah, Mr. Blah, Delight blah. want to be <laughs> the dude? Blah, blah, oh my blah. god! Wait, he doesn't what? seem like your typical attention whore to me! Oh my god, Maya! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Unlike, say, you, Nick, you're an attention whore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa, hold, hold on. That's going <laughs> harsh, Maya. That's oh harsh. God. <laughs> There's nothing of the sort. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I gotta admit, the way is Ron is acting is kind of scary. Anyway, time to poke <laughs> some holes in this testimony of his. She's Jeez. like, "Yay! I didn't call you a terrible name." <laughs> oh my God, Maya. Who taught you to talk like that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know you're 19 now, but girly, what happened? What happened? What Indeed. happened? The internet. <laughs> I have the evidence, or do you think I'm still some sort of third-rate rookie? Oh, I've never seen you this angry before. I'm not surprised. Anger is the last refuge of the p of the pathetic. Okay, everyone's just insulting me. Especially I was this more one. confident than angry. <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's see the this evidence already. Show the blah blah. blah. Eh. Yeah, but save the wallet. Oh, yeah, I was gonna do the wallet. I was just reading the description. Oh, okay. But it's just still found in Ron's wallet, so... <laughs> I know, I was like, I think either one would work, right? Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Ah! Yeah, yes, it, it does! I, I had lost it somewhere! Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away! Ah, no, you don't understand. This is an important piece of evidence. Evidence. Mr. Delight, when did you first notice that you lost your wallet? Er, let's see, I think it was on the night of the crime. But I know I still had it when Desi and I went out for dinner. This wallet was found at approximately 1am at KB Security Headquarters. W what? Surely you're not serious. Surely, surely you're not serious. Yes, I am serious. This proves that Mr. Delight was in fact a KB sec at, at KB security that night. No! <laughs> oh, no. So if the defendant was at KB security at 1 o'clock in the morning, then that proves that he has a watertight alibi. No! <laughs> Furthermore, considering the distance between Lordly Taylor and KB security, 
It would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car, according to Larry, anyway. Well, Mr. Godot, do you have anything to say? More poems, more poetry, more poetry, and stop drinking that coffee! <laughs> Come on, Mr. Thief. Don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why he's wrong. You're, you're the only one who calls me Thief, Mr. Godot. Alright, I'll try. I I'll do it, I will. Oh, he's really got Mr. Delight all worked up. <laughs> Yeah, he's like a kid at his first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous. Why would I have dropped my wallet at KB Security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like I was there and not at the heist. Planted it there? He is really reaching now. Mr. Delight, you probably dropped your wallet when you took it out to use this, didn't you? The key card to KB Security's CEO's office. No! <laughs> <laughs> Huh, that was a pretty good try, Mr. Trite. Unfortunately, you overlooked one small thing. Wh what? Motive, of course. Huh? <laughs> Why would the thief go to KB Security in the middle of the night anyway? Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, it looks like you need some more evidence after all. Grr, stupid kid. Yeah, stupid. he is stupid. <laughs> now then, let's see your evidence. Wait, I'm, I'm not ready. I mean, I think it's this thing, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I forgot, I had to read what it said. Eh. This. Mr. Delight, I believe you've seen this before, correct? No! <laughs> no! That's... That's... What is it? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the contents. B blackmail Yes. Basically, it says, bring $50,000. Hmm, that certainly sounds like blackmail, all right? At the time of the theft, Mr. Delight was dealing with the blackmailer himself. In KB Security CEO office, a full half an hour away from the scene of the crime. Ugh. Ugh. No, 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 no! His throat is burning! As he chugs down all of the coffee. Order! 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 So when the theft of the urn occurred, the defendant was at KB Security. It looks like a perfect case for the defense. Objection! You may see it as a perfect case, Judge, but to me... Well, let's just say that my Godot blend number 107 impresses me a lot more. I wonder what Godot blend number one is. <laughs> what, what are you trying to say? You say the thief was being blackmailed by the CEO of a security company? But, did you actually investigate the CEO, this CEO at all? It wasn't relevant to the case, so no! <laughs> Yeah, I know. I was like, huh? what? Well, what? <laughs> huh? um, no, I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof? I'm not sure that what I think of that. I'm not sure what I think of that. At least I know what I think of you. What do you think hmm. of him, Phoenix? <laughs> Good point. I'm not sure what I think of it myself. You claim that the defendant entered the CEO's office. But you'll need at least one witness to cor corroborate your claim, Mr. Wright. Nick, I think we're gonna have to track down the CEO guy. Ugh. <laughs> no, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. What do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? There is someone else who can testify. Uh. Oh god. Uh. Eh. Is it Larry? <laughs> I think it's Larry. It has to be Larry. <laughs> Because he's KB security. Who, who is this useless looking young man? You don't remember him, your honor? Hmm, not exactly. But just looking at his picture makes the bile start to rise in my throat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Judge already hates him. It looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. 
He probably blocked out that memory on purpose. Anyway, this man was working as a guard at KB Security that night. Uh oh. The question at hand is this key card. Yep, that's the key card they used in the building at work. <laughs> I don't remember what voice I used for him. I don't remember too. <laughs> You'll remember this one is for the CEO's office. You need to get into the room it. And every time you use that card, it leaves a record. Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Hmm. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the CEO of KB Security. We should be able to discover the truth simply by analyzing this key card's data. Blah! <laughs> 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 I keep wondering who's like sliding him the coffee. Yeah. It just magically slides to his hand. Right. Well, Mr. Goodo. The name of the CEO of KB Security is Kane Bullard. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the key card data data here. So what does it show? Each key card has its own serial number, and they leave us, or they they leave detailed records of their use. According to this data, this card was used at 1 a.m. on the morning of the crime. Yeah. Nice. But that means it can't be Mr. Delight dressed as Mask Star Damask in this photo. Huh. It looks like you're right. So just pronounce the verdict already, Judge, please. Two minutes isn't even enough of time to brew a good cup of joe. So, so then. <laughs> Ron Delight was clearly in the office of KB Security CEO at the time of the crime. The prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to be masked or mask. Good job! You did it, Nick! That's enough. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. <laughs> besmirching him with the title of THIEF! W what's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment, but before I do that, do you have any further objections? No, Your Honor! Just pass the verdict! Please! Her <laughs> Very well. <clears throat> the court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Not guilty. Yay! Confetti! Woo! Confetti! Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! Court is now adjourned. Objection! <laughs> oh my god, I got scared. I was like, <laughs> it's gonna go back to black, and then somebody screams objection again. I'll be like, oh, <laughs> who do I need to strangle now? <laughs> <laughs> 224, Defendant Lobby number 4. Nick, you did it! You were right after all! Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Nicky boy! Oh, Mr. Delight. I knew you could do it! I believed in you all along, Nicky boy. I don't know how I can ever repair repay you. You can't repair me! Fix <laughs> me! Fix <laughs> me! <laughs> Oh, shocks. Thanks, Miss Delight. I just know I'm blushing. Congratulations, Mr. Nick. Where have you been? Jeez. She's just scared chilling. me. Oh, but Pearls, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh. <laughs> Who is this woman? Oh, she she's nobody. She's just, uh... You're blushing. How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya? Yeah, I'm... Close to punting you right now. Okay, no. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Did you just hit me? <laughs> Yo, she, she slapped me. Um, Pearly? This woman is Miss Desiree Delight. She's our client's wife. <gasps> Mr. Nick! Don't be a home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. You're even worse than I thought. Going behind the no. back of your own client? 
you are accusing me. <laughs> she watches like so much soap operas. It's like all no. the terrible ones. I'll oh, never forgive she you. Hit me again. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, double slap. Well, anyway, all's all that ends well, right? We got the secret urn back, and the thief has been caught. You're so right, and it's all thanks to Nikki Boy here. But actually, it was you, Miss Light, that brought us uh, our urn back. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Oh, please. You're embarrassing me. We won the case. Then why does this guy still look, <laughs> He's just... look so glum? I can imagine all the girls and, the, and Phoenix are in the middle and they go, Yay! And then he's in the corner, just... Like, I was a pretty <laughs> guilty! <laughs> I am the thief. Actually, what's the point now? Oh, you can barely read that. <laughs> what is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. I, I know that, and I appreciate it, Desi. But the thing is... Come on, give the kid some time. He's just got a little touch of the blues. You know about feeling blue, right, amigo? M Mr. Godot, what are you doing here? No, come on. I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. <laughs> you look menacing. <laughs> Maybe you should learn my name before you call me buddy. He doesn't mean buddy in a, in a friendly sense at all. He's definitely <laughs> calling you buddy in like the condensed setting sense. Well, <laughs> playtime is over. Huh? Early this morning, the body of Kane Bullard was discovered. No! Oh my god, he's just going to be thrown into the slammer again for a completely no. different reason. <laughs> he wasn't there and it's going to go back to mash the you mask. Know, you know what's so funny? It's like, in, for this case, we're like, wow, there's no murder, is there? I am. Someone's murdered. Ah! <laughs> oh, damn it, Rod. It's all your fault. <laughs> oh god. Kane Bullard? Where have I heard that name before? Isn't that the name of the CEO of KB Security? Wait, body? Why is it not colored? <laughs> it always bugs you every time. The estimated time of death was 1 a.m. on October 12th. Uh, 1 a.m. on October 12th, y you don't mean? That's right, amigo. Don't call me Amigo, Migo. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time that a cheap little urn was being stolen, the CEO of KB Security was being murdered. So, so then, what are you doing here? I'm here to take I'm your being... child away. Yeah, I'm being optimistic <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, come on. You figured it out already, haven't you, Amigo? Or... Have you already forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today? Helped me out? What? On October 12th at 1 o'clock in the morning, Ron Delight was in the CEO's office, the scene of the murder. After getting that blackmail letter, he must have been imbrued with utter rage. What are you saying? Imbrued with, uh, with rage? Come on, don't tell me you didn't know. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. An employee of KB Security. It looks like the alibi that saved him from being convicted as a thief is going to get is going to be the noose that gets him hanged. Kind of an anti-alibi. No way! He can't be the thief because he was at the murder scene when the murder occurred. No! That's a lie! It can't be true! Oh! <laughs> thief! I tell you! I am a thief! Ron Delight, you're going back to prison again. No! 
This time, the charge is much more serious. This time, you'll be tried for murder. What? Th this can't- this is impossible! I'm looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trite. <sighs> you and I aren't through with each other yet. Surely you won't back down from a challenge. You've never been a coward. <gasps> Mr. Nick! Is there something personal between you two? What are you- what are you reading? <laughs> I return from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least let me have some fun while I'm here. This guy, who the heck is he? He may be quiet, but he's the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced. Well then, time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. He just starts dragging him away. Yep. Hmm. Nick, how could this be happening? Right in front of our very eyes, our client has been arrested for murder. And the one who established his presence at the scene was me. Guilt! <laughs> Ronnie! E arrested for murder on the very same day he's declared innocent of larceny. What the heck's going to happen next? Well. We can- we can do investigation! <laughs> Are you sure? These investigations- Remember last time? We were stuck on investigation okay, for three we hours! we were dumb last time! We're not gonna be dumb anymore! <laughs> you say we're not gonna be dumb anymore? Did you see us earlier? We were- we were that was a fluke! That was too early! Okay. We started too- Well, you- you can go ahead. I'm- I'm cool with continuing. It's just I'm gonna go f get Butterball and- start with his food oh, okay. and everything oh okay we can do a brb right now because i do need more water <laughs> oh okay cool how about that guys we take a break we're gonna do we're gonna do three minutes of ads in the meantime we're gonna drink i'm gonna take care of butterball um stretch walk around and then we're gonna be not dumb when we come back right so yeah <laughs> yeah okay see you guys in a bit
All right, I am back. Welcome back. Oh, you're back too. Okay, yeah. but I will be feeding Butterball. I will, I will read every so often. But if I start missing it, like it's already like off. If I'm off for like five seconds, just go ahead and read without me. <laughs> oh, all right, we're gonna speed run it anyway. I'm kidding. <laughs> we are gonna speed run it. Okay, let's go. No, I'm joking. I'm not gonna speed run. <laughs> All okay. right, let's go. You know, I'm glad we found that urn and all, but poor Mr. Light got depressed again. Yeah, you know, he deserves it. He deserves it. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> well, supposedly Mr. Delight was in the CEO's office when the murder occurred. No way, Jose. I don't buy it. But the one who proved that Mr. Delight was there was Mr. Nick himself, at least from what I can understand. Looks like you did too good of a job this time, Nick. Um, uh, well, how about we get started looking into the KB security murder? I think I'm gonna head, out, head back to Korean Village for a little while, that's alright. Sure, but why? I'm gonna bring the sacred urn back and have the people take a look at it. So the paint was not important? What? what? Is, is but is the current evidence still important? <laughs> I maybe. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I'll go with. No, Mystic Maya, you should stay here. I want you two to spend some quality time together, full of love and happiness. I want to punch you. <laughs> Rose was so caught up in her fantasy she forgot there's a murder to solve. Oh, does that actually disappear? Oh, it yeah. Does. Now remember, no fighting, okay? <laughs> She's gone. Goodbye! Happy to not see you again. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay Nick. Joking. Time to get going on this murder investigation. Yeah. Charlie. Quite decorative plant. When she was alive, Mia really is she not alive? Wait, Mia. <laughs> Mia. Oh, oh. Mia, <laughs> Mia, Mia, Mia. Read that on the plant. No. <laughs> Where is it? Okay. I, st I, I don't know. Is it all the same? I think it's all the same. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to look at the office. Unless what to do? What see... should I? How the Watergate Hotel, the lore for the Watergate oh, Hotel. Oh, right! <laughs> See if that's changed what do we do now? Yeah, we should investigate. Well, first we need blah blah blah. Oh. Ooh. That's a good question. We should ask Mr. Lights. Motors- oh gosh. Motorcycles. Motorcycles, you're not thinking of getting one, are you? I'm not the same little Maya who used to be happy with her dinky little bike, Nikki boy. <laughs> oh, speaking of asking around, I've got a few questions on my own for Mr. Delight. Alright, he is in prison. Okay. Let's make sure to get to the detention center too. You must be relieved we got that sacred urn back, huh? Bet, but there's something a little different about it. How, how do I make that noise? Don't woo at me. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> it's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, take a look at this. It clearly says I am on the urn in the poster. But the urn we got back says on me, like it always used to. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, I guess that is important, kind of. Plus, the vase has pink splotches on it now. I'm sure they weren't there before. Maya doesn't know, but one year ago, when the urn was broken, the repairer accidentally turned Mystic Ami's name into I Am. And that repairer was one mechanically unskilled little pearls. But still, I don't remember ever seeing pink splotches on it. possible that the urn is a fake? I'm sure Pearls will find out about that when she gets back to Korean Village. I suppose. 
Now that I think about it, Maya hasn't been back to Korean Village in a long time. Oh, there's more. Oh, wow. So, I guess people still go to Korean Village to do their training, right? Yup. If you want to become a spirit medium, you need to undergo severe training. Severe. So why haven't you been training lately, Maya? Dang. Well, <laughs> well her out. <laughs> lately I've been thinking of heading to a channeling dojo to do just that. A channeling dojo, huh? Sounds pretty serious, whatever that is. If you're gonna train, you have to be serious. Otherwise, real tragedies can happen. So what happened last year still bothering you? That murder in her village. It happened because the power of channeling was misused. No, that case. Uh... When I, mean, I don't know if I want to read all this backstory. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's just like all this backstory, but it just goes to show that literally this this game wraps up everything from the entire trilogy so well. Yeah, it's like, I already relived this case. That murder, it wasn't your fault, Maya. You know that, don't you? I mean, you were unconscious. I suppose not, but I guess I'm still a bit shaken up, that's all. Sounds like being the master of Karina is going to be a heavy responsibility. Alright, the history of the Gatewater. There's a giant building just outside that window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. The chain is getting so rich that they bought a whole chunk of the next town over and started building a huge theme park. It's going to be called Gatewaterland. Okay, so it's still the same. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Uh, we'll talk to Ron, I guess, if he's available. I already told you! It's not me! <laughs> yeah, for once he doesn't want to be the perp. The perp. <laughs> yeah, he's happy being a thief. He's happy not being a murderer. Thief, not a murderer. <laughs> Sad, pitiful wine that tapers into silence. Sounds like they're interrogating Mr. Delight right now. Man. And we don't have enough time as it is. Yeah, well, I guess the police are going crazy just like we are. Yesterday they thought he was just a thief, but now they got a murder case on their hands. I guess you're right. That guard over there looks a bit on edge, too. Come on, we'll just have to come back later. Okay! Let's check out some other place, Nick. Alright. Um... Okay, I don't think Butthole oh. wants to eat anymore, so I'm just gonna bundle him mm -hmm. up. Is Adrian okay? Oh yeah, is she Lord still Lee broken? Too. The treasures of Korean exhibit is all ruined now. Maya. I'm sorry, it's just so sad. This was our big chance for everyone to learn about spirit channeling. Maybe we can cheer her up somehow. Well, now that we've got the sacred arm back, maybe they can reopen it? Really? Sure, maybe we can label it the urn of mas Star the Mask's desires. That would attract that would probably attract a lot of attention. Whoa! 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 It's <laughs> brilliant, Nick! We can clean up and be filthy rich! <laughs> <laughs> She's always just wanting to be rich. Woohoo! Wow, that was surprisingly easy. Alright, I can take over for Maya again. I don't know if I want to examine everything again. I don't think anything changed. Anything new in the basement warehouse? Looks they haven't insane. cleaned up. I know. <laughs> oh, it's you, Mr. Wright. Miss Andrews, what is she still hanging around down here for? Why are you still freaked out? <laughs> um, so, how's it going? What about the sacred urn? The urn? Oh, that. It's been taken care of already. What do you mean, oh, that? Taken care of? Do you mean it's been found? Yes. It was brought in during the trial today. Wow, really? You really are the greatest, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright had nothing to do with it. It was Matt side of Matt's wife that found it. Well, anyway, I'm I'm so relieved. E. We need we need that. that. Look. <laughs> Look, a ladder. A ladder. So, what's the difference? There's a difference. You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. 
<laughs> no, it's the same, but still. <laughs> it's still the same, but it's so funny every time. <laughs> I feel like we had this exact same conversation. Alright, I don't think there's anything new. new. Is there? I don't see anything new. Well, I guess Adrian would have some input sometimes. So, I'm assuming the pink painting paint is just a red herring this entire time then? Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Like, if this is the case, this is super elaborate. You know, if this is all connected so it was in some like way. It was fixed in the before it was placed in the box, and it got paint on it. I don't know. I don't know. Or was it fixed after it was removed from the box? I think it'd just be crazy if it actually is all connected. Because <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I just heard all about it on the news. So that detective was actually the thief all along. It looks that way right now. It's it's my fault. I'm the one who ended up hiring Damask to guard the treasures. Don't blame yourself. You're just doing your job. Hey, Nick. If she wants to apologize, you should let her. Okay. So, when was it that you hired Detective at me again? About 20 days ago. And when was so? And when was it that mass <laughs> started the mass calling card arrived? That was about ten days ago. So he sent the calling card to the very place he was hired to guard. I guess that's it then. Detective Atme must have really wanted that sacred urn after all. I guess so. Still weird. Yeah. What? So so mass started the mass m murdered someone as well. Well, that's not how things look right now. It, yes, but I thought that he was here stealing the urn at the time. Well, we're talking about a criminal mastermind, so anything is possible. Nick, let's get down to business already. Patience, Maya. <laughs> On the night of the theft, did you notice anything suspicious about Detective Atme? No, I couldn't have. After all, he was hidden the entire time. I never even got a glimpse of him. He claims that's the way he always operates. Mm, that's just what he says so he can have an alibi when he commits the, th the thefts himself. Yeah. He was caught in the crime scene photo dressed up as mess, starting to mask pretty well. Sacred urn. I'm so glad that you found your sacred urn back. Yes, but there's still something that bothers me about it. W what is it? Hey! I'm not exactly sure. But somehow the urn that came back seems different. R really? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Miss Andrews? Uh, no! I don't know anything! Wh why would I? Oh, Jeez. Gosh. Oh. oh no! Oh! She fixed it! Look. She fixed it, didn't she? <laughs> she 100% did. <laughs> what do you think do this you think? means, Nick? It means the person that holds the secret to the mystery of the sacred urn is our very own Miss Andrews. Well, I don't think I have anything for that yet. Because my sacred urn was taken away from me. Probably. Yeah, I don't even know how you would- what you're trying to prove there. Aside from- Can I, just I not get this as no evidence anymore? Ah! That's the <laughs> box that had the urn in it! I mean... And she worked so hard. That was I, I, just wanted, as, <laughs> I just wanted it as evidence. No. But it's not evidence. It's okay. too pathetic of a box to be evidence. Um, do I need to present anything? I don't think I do. Ah, here, here, I'll, I'll be back for you later. <laughs> oh, wrong button. He should be in prison, right? <laughs> he should be. For larceny. Whoa, this place is literally cr crawling with cops. What did you expect? Now that they know he was actually a mask to mask? Star, star to mask? <laughs> yeah. This must be incredibly embarrassing for them, don't you think? Yeah, I guess they're trying to make up for it by tearing the place apart. 
Hey, I just noticed Gumshoe is nowhere to be seen. Well, he is a homicide detective. He's probably working on the murder case. Then why was he working on the larceny case? Because there was no murder case. <laughs> there was no murder cases to be had. It, I guess. There was no... <laughs> but wasn't he in charge of the mask, or the mask investigation all the way up to yesterday? See? <laughs> Not the only one questioning it. Well, a murder case is a lot more exciting, isn't it? He'd say something like, There's nothing like a good murder case, pal. Points for the quality of the impression, but I'm not sure Gamshu has bloodlust, Maya. <laughs> oh, I can't examine anything. Oh! Oh! It's like, you don't need to. The hearth! I mean, fireplace! <laughs> the hearth. <laughs> Alright. You gotta right. let go of those cultural assumptions, Donut. <laughs> Oh, Nikki boy, Maya! Miss Delight. All I wanted to do was help my dear Ronnie. Yeah, but I guess it ended up hurting his case. Don't say that, Nick. She doesn't need your help beating <laughs> herself up. I can't say anything right. <laughs> hey, Nikki boy, please, please help Ronnie. Nah, he's a lost cause. Sorry. <laughs> He's not a killer, I swear. My Ronnie wouldn't hurt a fly. Alright, I'll poke around and see what I can find out. Really? Are you serious? Oh, I'm so happy. I knew asking for your help was the right thing to do. Am I blushing? <laughs> I... I don't know what I can do to help anymore. I need the location. I had no idea Miss Deli Miss Delight had such a vulnerable side. <laughs> it's all cutesy music. I just associate it with lot Lotta. Lotta, yeah. Listen carefully, Nikki boy. My Ronnie would never, ever kill anyone. It's just not in him. I don't know. Look at those eyes. They're a killer's eyes. I don't think <laughs> he would either, Nick. Yeah, but you have to be admit he's got a bit of a temper to him. It's not that hard to imagine him just snapping and screaming, PLEASE DIE! <laughs> Except his whiny voice. He would never say that. Anyway, Miss Soleil, he might not be a killer. But he's still going around saying that he's a thief. I already told you. That's just a fantasy for him. Miss Delight, I hate to say it, but you're the one living in a fantasy world. What? How dare you say that to me, Nikki boy? I know everything about my Ronnie. We don't have any secrets between us. Ronnie is of the thieving type. He's so honest that he would even sneak sneak a nap. He, he's so honest that he would even steal a glance. A thief? Ha! Huh, the very idea. I guess I just don't get it. Huh? Get what? I just can't understand how they can be so different and yet be such a happy couple. Yeah, they sure are different. Uh, opposites attract on- <laughs> Now, Nikki boy, it's not that mysterious, is it? It was love at first sight. For me, anyway. What? F for you? The woman that likes weak men, right? Yeah. <laughs> I hate these kinds of people more than anything. Um, you mean ace detectives? Liars. <laughs> no, I'm fine with ace detectives. Oh, so then you must mean thieves. No, we're no they're all right too. <laughs> I just hate thieves oh. that pretend to be ace detectives. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> There's oh. nothing I hate more than cowardly men. By the way, why did you go to Detective Atme's office anyway? Well, as the trial went on, I started to get more and more anxious. I went there to try to find what, uh, find out more about the real criminal. The real criminal? 
Yes, obviously the real mass start of mass is not my Ronnie, right? Yeah. And Detective Atme knew more about mass start of mass than anyone else. He mentioned it about the great people around town segment on TV. So then, you went there to ask him some questions? That's right. I'll do whatever it takes to save my man. His secretary said, the ace detective isn't in right now. He has a secretary? That's right. <laughs> Just lets us in. But I forced my way past her and into his hideout. I wouldn't exactly call that office of his a hideout. That bag was sitting right on there on top of the table. We saw that bag there yesterday, too. There's nothing lower than someone who would try to pin a crime on someone else. KB Security. Miss Delight, do you know about KB Security? Don't be silly, of course I do. That's where my Ronnie works. Is she the murderer? <laughs> I know. Like, low-key, I'm just like, is she the murderer? <laughs> like, she actually has access thanks to Ronnie. <laughs> so she thinks he still works there, huh? And yet, according to what we heard today... Come on, don't tell me you didn't know. Ron the Light was once an employee. So why does he still have an employee keycard? If he was once an employee, they should have, like... De like no. decommissioned it or something, right? Yeah, with the, I, with the... it shouldn't have worked. Right. He was a professional security guard. Ron quit. He doesn't work there anymore. It looks like Mr. Light doesn't know. Maybe security is only about 20 minutes away. By motorcycle, that is. Larry told me it takes 30 minutes by car. Well, I have to admit that I tend to fly pretty fast on my bike. And swerve between lanes and everything. <laughs> to make it this KB security that fast, are you sure you aren't literally flying? Why don't I give you a ride sometime? Or better yet, how about now? Um, uh, n no. I I'll pass, though. thanks. Well, why don't you just tell us where it is and we'll go ourselves. Haha, <laughs> what a scary cat you are, Nick. Miss Delight told us the location of KB Security. Okay, let's head over. Let's head over there right away, Nick. Love at first sight. Um, so it wasn't really love at first sight when you first met Mr. Delight. Well, maybe not at first sight, but Ronnie saved my life. Oh. Saved your life. I was at work one day when two robbers suddenly rushed in. Well, I'm not the kind to just curl into a ball, uh, into a little ball in the corner, so I fought back. R robbers Yes, they took me hostage. I was so frightened. They were both carrying these huge knives, and I, I broke down into tears. Yeah, I would too if I were in that situation. Oh, I, I think I get it. Did Mr. Delight come running to save you? Yes, exactly. I remember he looked so handsome in that guard uniform of his. He went right up to those knife-wielding robbers and screamed in their faces. <laughs> what? Please, stop it! He screamed. I could see the robbers' faces turn pale. That high-pitched shriek of his. Oh. That's you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that high-pitched streak of his does have a surprisingly strong effect on people. Then, crying and swinging his arms like crazy, he attacked the two robbers. All by himself, he came to save me, a total stranger, all by himself. He was so scared that he was crying and shaking, but he still risked his life for me. Wow, that's a great story. Yes, you may not look it, but in a tough situation, there's no one better. That's why I fell in love with him like I did. <laughs> That's so romantic. I'd fall in love too, too I guess. <laughs> oh god, Phoenix. Gosh. It's like you were uh, back when you were 22. 
<laughs> Nick, I hope you'll you'll do the same for me if I ever get taken hostage. I mean, he kind of. With Maya, that possibility always seems to loom in a not so distant future. That's terrible. <laughs> Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess it's all, all the same. Yeah, I think it's all the same too. Anything new? No. No. Alright. Move. Oh, right into the CEO's office. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just straight into it. Straight into it. KB Security, CEO's office. What's in the safe? Wait a minute, is that the safe? That with the from the very, very, very beginning? Yeah, like the super very beginning. Where it had what was it? They were looking for the diamond or something? Yeah. It was Luke yeah, to me. Wait, but then <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, it was like a diamond, right? And then who oh, there that was in the blackmail note too, no? I mean, the blackmail was like 50,000, whatever. Yeah, look, if you don't, I'll oh. take that red diamond you received the other day instead. Interesting. Is that actually so for Ron? <laughs> Is it? Is it? It's for Larry Butts, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this is where it all went down, huh? The walls in here look thick. Just like you'd expect in a CEO's office. What has that got to do with anything? I hate how oh. the walls look. I hate it. <laughs> That's terrible. I would hate it if my CEO's office looked like this. There's a big red button. Yeah. I don't want to press it. Hey, it's you guys. Oh. Detective Gumshoe. Today was a real train wreck for you guys, huh? Sure was, pal. That prosecutor made real fools of us out. Uh, real fools out of us! <laughs> yeah, I feel for you. Wow, that's not like you at all. I thought you'd be more like... Oh, that was great. You just, you guys got what you deserve, pal. Ho 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 ho. Or something to that effect. D do I really sound like that to you, pal? <laughs> If the gumshoe fits! Um, well, anyway. The point is, I can tell when someone puts their heart into their jobs. And I can sympathize when things don't go your way. Sometimes, I feel like wrong is the only way things go for us detectives. Wow, I had no idea Detective Gumshoe was such a nice guy. He always was a nice guy. <laughs> what do you mean, Maya? <laughs> he was always a nice guy. Once this little love fest is over, maybe we can start investigating. This rope. You think it fell out and it was safe when it was open? I don't think so. So you mean... Yeah, I think the string shows where and how the corpse was lying. Mean. Yes. <laughs> victim. He was killed by cre being crushed by the safe door. She, she, she can't be serious, can she? Oops. Well, okay, how else was she supposed to read it? Phoenix. <laughs> Look, it's like he got spilled out of the safe. The, the legs were crushed. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> wow. This safe is unbelievable. It's very yellow. It's very noticeable. <laughs> I bet four pearls would fit in there. I think more more than four can fit in there. And it's got a bunch of doohickeys attached to it. It's pretty amazing, all right. Motion sensors, heat sensors, weight sensors. Hey, Nick, come on. Let's open it and take a look. If I broke into one of these, wouldn't that set me down the path to Hoodlumville? Hoodlumville. Hoodlumville. Wow, look at that huge frame photo. Tall mountains rising majestically against the dark and cloudy sky. Mm, 
there's title written at the bottom of the photo. Is this the, is the painting that was stolen? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> the greatest sunrise of my life. This is it? This is his best sunrise? <laughs> okay. I'm disappointed. I know. Either this guy didn't get out enough, or he had really rotten luck with the weather. Maybe if he had lived a little bit longer, he would have seen some better days. Not impressed. <laughs> I know. This must be the CEO's desk. It's a lot simpler than I would have thought. Hey, that looks like a super soft chair. Let me try it out, just for a second. Maya! <laughs> Ooh, nice! I feel just like a CEO. Hey, you! Let me up a cup of some really expensive import tea and some scones. Move it! <laughs> ah, this is life. Oh. The victim sat in that chair just before he was brutally killed, you know. <laughs> Check out this big, thick binder here. Leave the heavy lifting to me, Nick. Reading a file isn't exactly back-breaking work. Just a little hard on the eyes. Ah! What did you find out, Nick? This file. It's not about any sort of security operations or anything. This huge file is all about Mask Star to Mask. It's filled with info on him. What? What kind of info? Uh, I'm tired of Mask Star to Mask. <laughs> <laughs> filled with incredibly detailed information about his methods and the crime scenes. Even his blood type. <laughs> hey, Nick. Look at the last page. It's a list. Let's see. Tier of Emanum, $100,000. This looks like a list of all the treasures that Mass Star to Mass stole. So then, $100,000 is the value of the stolen item? I don't know. That number sounds kind of low to me. I think I'd better secretly make a copy of this list. Kane's list. But can I actually see the list? Yes. Ooh. Alright, Tear of Eminem, the Crown of Bongora, Left Hand of Hades, Sculpture, Portrait of Medina. Like, Wait, where's the rest? more expensive. It does. Hmm. I wonder if the Tear of Eminem is the is, same it, diamond. Do you think? Because it's half, half a hundred thousand. Oh, in wait, the no. Black they, they said that the tear was blue, though, so. I think oh. they said that the tear was blue, so I guess the diamond is something else. It's just yes. a diamond. An unnamed it's just diamond. A diamond. Yeah. No, it's important. No more binders. Look, it comes from that shelf. These looks like these look like some kind of bookshelf slash rolling cabinet hybrid. Mm -hmm. I can't what? get in between <laughs> these two shelves. I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Don't strain yourself trying. It looks like the shells are controlled by a special panel. So I guess it's one of the one shelf at a time, huh? It looks like they're fi filled with a bunch of files. Yeah, files filled with data about security jobs they were hired to handle. It'd be a good night's reading if you got insomnia. I was hoping for something a little bit exciting, like UFOs or something. What do you think a CEO's office is? <laughs> Big red button. Button. Ooh, there's a button here. Let's see. Press it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> un un unpress it. Unpress it. <laughs> hey, cut it out. Don't press that. <laughs> that was really funny. I never knew Detective Gumshoe could jump like that. What is that button anyway? It's an emergency buzzer! It says it right there on the panel! Well, I can't read that! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. You're right, it's written there. Nick, how many times have I told you to read the instructions first? This alarm's connected to the basement guard room. It's used to summon security up here. Really? That's possible on the night of the crime. Oh, so when the CEO was attacked? Do you think that maybe he pressed the buzzer? 
Yeah, I thought about that, so I asked around down there. But they said that, they never, that the buzzer never went off that night. He was murdered by someone he knew. Yeah, it had to be. <laughs> also, we couldn't find any fingerprints on the button. Well, now you can. Oh, well, now you got Maya's. She's the murderer. <laughs> she is the murderer again. <laughs> Mr. Bullard, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves, by the way, just so you know. Hmm, I think we'd better go and talk to that guard about this emergency buzzer. There are no fingerprints on it. Um, is there anything else? No. Computer, no. Okay. Did I already talk to him? No, I didn't. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, tell us what you know about the murder. Um, okay. But the thing is, I'm really not supposed to. When has that stopped you before? It has never stopped you before. Hey, come on. What about how we, uh, put our parts into our work? Things are really working against us right now and we need help. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell you. Just don't start crying on me, okay, pal? Okay, I won't cry on you, pal. <laughs> pal. Yeah. The victim's oh, name victim. is Kane Bullard. Different he than was... what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> he was the CEO of KB Security and a pretty big fellow in his own right. His course was discovered at 9 this morning. His estimated time of death was 1 in the morning on October 12th. The cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head, probably an object in this room. Did you find it? It happened at exactly the same time that Mass Star Mass was stealing their urn, huh? Cerebral hemorrhaging. <laughs> From blunt trauma to the head. Bad way to go. <laughs> so why did it take almost an entire day to discover the body? There's a good explanation for that one. Bullard's body was stashed away inside that safe. Oh. Well, it is pretty big. Could fit four pearls in it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody had heard from him when they opened the safe this morning. Out he came. Ooh. That's a pretty ah. sad thing. So the body fell out. That white string must be the shape from when he fell out. I think we need some more information about Mr. Bullard. Billiard. Billiard? <laughs> <laughs> Billiard. You actually said it wrong? Goodness. <laughs> Maybe you could start by getting the man's name right. <laughs> Detective at me. So, um, what happened to Mask Star to Mask? He's at the detention center, screaming like a madman. Investigate me again! He keeps yelling. Ah, no, no, I didn't mean him. He's not the real thief anyway, right? No, you mean that detective at me? <laughs> <laughs> that was great! The guy got what he deserved! <laughs> now that's a detective I know and love. Think about it. Abby was always around when a calling card showed up. He always mysteriously disappeared when the heist took place. I was hiding at the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. That's how you just knew he was a thief. Uh-huh. He uh -huh. just knew. Just knew it. That would explain how he's able to retrieve the stolen item he keeps bragging about. Yeah. He just did that to make himself look like a great detective, that's all. There's just one thing I can't figure out about his first heist. His first heist? Yeah, the Tear of Eminon case. There was a witness on that one. Witness? Here, I'm gonna save the newspaper clipping. <laughs> Since the thief is already under arrest, you guys can keep it. Arigato. <laughs> the gem and the thief. No, it is blue. Hey, hey, this guard here. Haven't I seen him somewhere before? It's pretty small, so it's kind of hard to see, but now that she mentions it. Is it? 
I can't tell. <laughs> from before, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, I can't. Oh, I just. I, don't, I wanted to read the actual article, but I guess not. I, I can't yeah, tell. Ooh, okay. I'm trying to think. There's only like one guard I could think of, but he was really annoying, and I hope he doesn't come up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, oh. Okay. Prosecutor, good though. Ooh, that prosecutor. I really don't like that guy. Can we he use our own evidence to do that to Mr. Delight? Yeah, I think he did that. Wait, I think he did it that way just because he knew it would hurt more. That's what my gut tells me anyway. So who is that Java addicted mask maniac anyway? Prosecutor Godot? He's quite the enigma, huh? The thing is, pal, I never even heard of that guy before. He just showed up one day at the prosecutor's prosecutor's office. Came out of nowhere. That's right. He said this was his first case as a prosecutor. And it's true. According to the records, anyway. But no way he's an amateur. He's an ice man in court. A maverick that gives goosebumps. Goosebumps? You? Yeah. I knew something was off about him, so I asked around. Nobody would talk to me. They all just turned the other way. Poor Detective Gumshoe. I had no idea you were so un unpopular. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. That good dough guy acts like he knows me and has, and has a grudge against me. I get the feeling he's hiding some kind of dark secret. Everyone's hiding dark secrets. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone. Everyone! I don't know, should I still present this stuff? This was his first heist, and I guess I underestimated him. I was sure I was gonna get him, so I was careless and lost the info on the witness. By witness, do you mean the guard in the photo? Yeah, he and the detective were together to try catching Mast Mas Star to Mask. He got away anyway, huh? That guard? I got the weird feeling that I've seen him around lately. Oh, that even that's even weirder. That is weird. Um, so about this. Huh? What's that? Hey, wait a minute, Maya. What's wrong? We copy that data without permission. Don't show it to him. Oops. <laughs> oh. He might get mad at us. So, what are you two whispering about? Uh, oh, it's nothing. It's just my billfold. <laughs> That's a pretty thick billfold you got there, pal. Thought we just copied the list. Was it a thick list? <laughs> I know. Uh, did we just copy the entire binder? <laughs> now I really want you to show it to me. Okay. Um... Uh... I don't know if I should present anything else. Yeah, I'll move around a bit. Um... Security room. Oh. Very, uh, futuristic. Wait mm -hmm. a minute. Who's hanging their clothes there? Is it Larry? It looks like <laughs> Larry's jacket. It's so green and weird here. It's too much green. Too much green. Wow, this is really something else. What's with the floor? I don't get it. Why is there like, like holes easy... on the floor? Yeah, it's like an easy way to break your ankle. Right? For a security guard office, it sure doesn't look- It doesn't feel very secure. KB security guard. Uh-oh, I just remembered. Larry might be. Hey, Nick, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he is here. Yo, how's it hanging, dude? And you got my sweet little Maya with you, too! Hi, Larry! Here I was working my fingers to the bone. 
and it walks an angel. I've got no problems with a daytime date. It's all good. No, no, that's not what, we, what we're here for. We're investigating the Bullard murder case. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's so hopelessly clueless. Well, if it's about the murder case, boy, have I got some good info for you. Really? What is it? Well, I don't mind sharing with my sweet little Maya. But Nick here is a different story. Are they actually friends? <laughs> <laughs> but Larry, I thought you two were old school buddies. That was then and this is now. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. What do, you, what do you got in here? That's my partner seat. Your partner. Well, that's what I call her. She's my superior, actually. Kind of a weird old. Oh no. Oh Isn't no. It... It oh no. <laughs> like how we're immediately going. Uh. Um, mm. there's tea spilled all over that machine, you know. Oh, don't worry about it. Just the other day, I spilled some chocolate milk on mine. Oh my god. It still works fine, more or less. They really know how to build them, I guess. Jeez. What does this say? Something is written on this poster in fine print. Uh, guards, five commandments. Wow, this sounds serious. Let's see what it says. Number one, obey thy superior. Jeez. <laughs> Number two, respect thy superior. Number three, smile at thy superior. Number four, salute thy superior. <laughs> Growing more worried. <laughs> Number five, buy donuts for thy superior upon demand. Donuts. Donuts. It's signed. No! Bag. <laughs> Head supervisor. Dude, one tough old bird, let me tell you. Crosser, you come face to face with a real, genuine ray gun. So they uh, they put together like two of the worst characters together. <laughs> Although <laughs> I I would take Larry over Old Bag any day. <laughs> yeah, sounds scary, all right. Well, fortunately she's on vacation. That's why I'm so relaxed right now. Okay, oh. nice. It's gonna end soon, isn't it? I know it's gonna end right when Edward comes back into the picture. Hey, Larry, that's your jacket, isn't it? That's right! Um, did you know you hung it right on top of some kind of lever? Yeah, sure. I was told to never, ever touch that lever. She scowled and huffed at me. Something terrible will happen if you do. Got it, Greenhorn! <laughs> oh, God. So, why hang your jacket on such an important lever? Because it got me curious. <laughs> the jacket's weight pulls the lever down. That's what they call an accident. God. <laughs> oh, goodness. Doesn't the suspense just kill you? Don't you want to... Don't, don't you want to know what... <laughs> What'll happen? Oh, God. Butts, please. <laughs> it's true. It's no, my too. What about you, Nick? Yeah, but for a different reason. <laughs> oh. What's, what, what, there's a special lever, lever there, too. Wow, take a look at these things here. Hey, hey Larry, what are they? Hmm. Did you just say, hmm? Hey man, it's not like I have to know what they are to do my job. I, I always thought they were just some kind of decoration or something. Oh boy. How did this guy ever get a job here anyway? That's a, that's a good question. There's Chips. a lot of people like Larry in the world. Sometimes <laughs> there is a wonder. <laughs> Those screens there show what's going on all over the building. Everywhere. And it's my job to keep a steady eye on them. All of them. I wouldn't sound so smug if I were you. <laughs> Can you watch regular TV on these two? If anyone would sit here and watch TV instead of working, it's Larry. Hey Maya, I'm a pro, okay? Besides, you can't get regular TV on it. And how do you know that, Larry? 
Because that was my first bit of investigation, if you know what I mean. I know what you're thinking! It was a professional investigation, alright? Okay. Chair. The chair is important. <laughs> That's my workstation. Pretty cool, huh? Keep a steady eye on the monitors and use that mic for communicating. Look at all this equipment. It must be hard to operate. No biggie. I think there's an instruction manual somewhere in this room. I just press buttons. I just press <laughs> buttons and they do things. Somewhere? Instruction manual? What are you going to do in an emergency? Well, I guess I'd start by calmly looking for the instruction manual. During that time, my partner, the old lady, would calmly look for her reading glasses. That's what a security professionals call teamwork. Okay. Even Amaya and Pearls could run this place better. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> she reads her mi his mind. Alright. So... Alright, good info. What's your good info? So what's this good info you were talking about, Larry? Hey, I'm a guard, a pro! I can't just give away information for free! He wants a bribe? I thought professionals were more, I don't know, honest? Can you talk to him, Maya? <laughs> Larry, tell us already, what's the good info? Hey, I like that! This kid has got some claws. Okay, you really want to know? Yes, yes, so tell me! Okay, so the thing is, Ron Delight was an employee here. And naturally, since I'm a pro, I looked into his background. Follow me? Yes, you're a pro. I follow you. Go on. Well, one year ago, Ron Delight was fired. And there is no warning at all. It just happened all of a sudden. I know this is a small company, but I think that was pretty awful. So it does something bad to have gotten fired like that. How is this card still working? I know, if it was a year ago? Like, maybe skipping out of work to go pick up hot chicks or something. No, that's just you. So what is it like to be a part-time security guard? Let me tell you, it's tough. Well, you know me. I get by alright, I guess. First, I had to keep my eye on those monitors all the time. Monitors? There are security cameras set in each room around the building. It's really hard. Sometimes I feel like my eyes are gonna fall out. Is there a camera for the CEO's office? That's what I'm wondering too. Oh. And if I see something suspicious, I have to contact one of the teams. What teams? Security teams for this company. They're supposedly the best in the business. But I'm no amateur either, so if it's something small, I don't bother calling them. Oh my god. So in other words, you basically watch TV screens all day long. Niners Curran, where were you? You were in this office when the murder took place, weren't you? W why do you say that? This is just a part-time job for me, I can't- and I can't operate the equipment, and I'm dumb! <laughs> Even if it is part-time and you are dumb, you're still in charge of security here. Hey, give me a break! Don't try to pin the whole thing on me! That's not fair, Nick! Huh? <laughs> I don't think you can expect someone like him to take any responsibility. Anyway, the point is you were here that night, right? Ugh! <laughs> yes! Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, three? Oh no, I knew something smelled bad, and it was the butts after all. Well, it's like I always say, that was then and this is now, okay? Looks like I'm gonna have to break his cyclops after all. Okay. Oh man, so we have two? We have two, and I don't know what I have information for. Yeah. <laughs> mm, let's see what you want, I guess. Or should I... Maybe just ask. Oh, ask him about the boss. The CEO. The what? Ask him about the CEO. Oh. What's his name? I already forgot his name. Bullard. Bullard. King Bullard. 
Hey, oh gosh, did he not know about it? Oh gosh, he's not gonna respond about anything with that. The dudes, huh? <laughs> maybe, maybe ask about Desi. Again. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, okay. Ask him about himself, maybe? <laughs> Okay. Interesting. Nothing about people. Okay, so nothing about people. As of now. Yeah. Uh, oops. Wrong one. Um. Do you know about this? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Don't tell me he's not gonna be helpful. Oh, well, let's see what he wants to know. Well, let's see what evidence I have. What do I need? The night of the crime. The night of the crime, were you working hard like you were supposed to? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Huh? Uh, 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 of course I was! Why wouldn't I have been? But didn't you- But didn't you sneak out of work just yesterday to go see Miss Delight? Ah! But, but that was that, and this is this! Is there any chance that you snuck out of work last night too? Never! I didn't sneak out. I tell you what, I'll even bet you a dollar. Dollar? Wow. Now that's confident. What's with that drenched in a rain puppy look on your face? Do you have it? Do you have evidence that I left my position or are you just pulling my chain? <laughs> okay, I guess I don't really. No, we don't have that. The evidence that Larry was not manning a station with her. Maybe that one, yeah. Yeah, because he did find the wallet. He did find the wallet. Take that! This wallet. You know about this, right? I've never seen it before. <laughs> okay. Lie to my face! <laughs> Straight up. Liar! You hand-delivered this wallet to Miss Delight just yesterday. Give me a break! You can't expect me to remember every little thing that happens. Well, I do expect you to remember something that happened just yesterday. What time was it when you found this wallet? Blah blah blah. One o'clock in the morning. Yes. One o'clock. One o'clock in the morning. That's right. In other words, Larry, at the time of the murder, you are away from the security guard office. <laughs> Yeah, but, but, but there, there's something you didn't think about. What's that? My shift that day didn't start until 10 p.m. The murderer might have snuck in before then. What do you mean by that? If the murderer had snuck in before 10 p.m., then it wasn't my fault. It was the fault of the guy whose shift was before mine. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Why are the feeling that he still doesn't get the seriousness of this? Listen up, Larry. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the killer snuck into the CEO's office after 10 p.m. during your shift because... Uh... Because... Uh, where was it? I thought I had something. Did you, didn't you get the data? Hold on. That's what I was looking for, but where is it? <laughs> Office after a oh, I is guess it? it would be the key. Oh. Yeah, it would be the key card. Oh, okay. I have to read the description. Larry, when you use this key card, does it leave a record? Yeah, it does. But I can't show the record to just anyone, you know. That key card data was already made public in the trial today. What? Know that? Any kind of request for info like that is supposed to go through me. Boy, does that sound a bit arrogant coming from a part-time guard. Anyway, according to the data, the door to the CEO's office was opened with this card. Furthermore, it was most definitely used at 1 a.m., the time of the murder. No way! Yes, someone used this to get into the CEO's office. That happened at 1 a.m. on the night of the crime, right in the middle of your shift. Ooh... <laughs> Larry, you can't duck your responsibility this time. Yar! No! <laughs> oh. Well, hey, at least we knocked him out. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, nice. That is a crime. Ooh, I knew it. It's all my fault. It's my fault that the boss was killed. My fault. Larry. <laughs> Larry. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> There's nothing I could do. I have important issues to deal with too, man. What happened to that night? What happened that night anyway? Uh, my Donna happened. Donna? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Your Donna? I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, my Donna called and said, I have to talk to you right away. So I went to see her and she was standing right there next to her. Who? Was? Her new boyfriend. It was like some, some horrible joke. Before I knew what was going on, the guy socked me right in the kisser. I normally I'm the one that does the punching, isn't that right, Maya? Yeah. So is that why you left the security guard office? Wow, I'm sorry! It's all my fault! How can I ever make it up for it, Nick? What can I do? What? Wah -ha -ha. He, oh. He's curled up on the floor, crying like a baby. Oh boy. Nick! Is there anything I can do? Anything? Just name it. I'll do whatever I have to make up for it. I swear I will. Larry. Hey, Nick. As long as he's offering, why don't you show him the evidence we've got? She's right. Maybe we'll get at least one bit of useful information from him. Nick! Nick! <laughs> Nick. Well, at least now he's willing to talk. Nick! Is it this one? Nope, never mind. <laughs> Probably the, the guard one. Pleasant. Okay, or not that maybe one. try the boss again? Oh. The boss. The boss. The boss. Hmm. <laughs> CEO of our company. He was a pretty good guy. I don't know. CEOs are always sketchy. Squinty eyes. <laughs> huh? Really? Yeah, you bet. You know how I'm not very good about working hard, right? Uh, yeah, I kind of noticed. Well, guess what the boss said to me about that. I don't expect much work from you, Larry. In return, just don't expect much pay. <gasps> Jeez. <laughs> I see. I guess you have to follow some kind of dumb law about having security here in the building. In build... Uh, building. <laughs> so in order to pay the lowest wage possible, he went to the bottom of the barrel. To be honest, I really looked up to the boss. If I ever grow up to be the CEO, I want to be just like him. I don't know if he's actually a good guy. <laughs> I... And don't worry, Nick. I promise I'll hire you for, se for security. Um, okay. About himself? I'm 25 now. It's about time I started giving some serious thought to my life. Good! That's the way to be! What exactly are you thinking about though? <laughs> well, you know, my future, my dreams! Larry, when exactly does this future of yours start? Tomorrow. <laughs> A man's life begins at 30. That's my theory anyway. I figure I got another five years of guilt-free screw-ups before I have to buckle down. Don't be like butts! Don't be like <laughs> Don't butts! Be. Don't be! Larry, I think... Forget it. We're just gonna have to have a nice long talk next time. Please. <laughs> um, maybe ask about Run the Light? We're now oh, there he is. Oh, jeez. I swear I wanna change my ways! Okay. He's like, I'M NOT GAY! That <laughs> does use one awesome lady, alright. It's been a long time since I felt this way. I think I'm really in love this time. Uh, a long time, huh? Yeah, well, or except for what I feel for you, Maya. Hold up, hold up. I don't think even he knows what he's saying anymore. <laughs> oh no, hold on. I need to turn off stream. Ah! Oh. Well, not turn off stream. Turn off 
your stream? What's going on with the sound? Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh. What's going on? I need to I need to restart it. Hold up. It's all Oh, oh. Oh, it hates oh. us. Oh. It hates me. Oh. I don't know. Fix it's it. I don't know. <laughs> restart your stream. <laughs> restart it. Yeah. Okay. Fine, fine. fine. <laughs> and then it's being all uh, silly. Uh, it's all being crusty. Is it better now? Oh, much better. I think it's just Discord eventually going, Ugh, I'm dying. Ugh. Yeah. But it's good now. It's good now? Positive? Yeah. Absolutely positive? Yes. Why? Um, the buzzer in the CEO's office is directly connected to this room, right? That's right. Just like my heart is connected to yours, Maya. Huh? Go ahead, Maya. Press the buzzer in your heart. I promise I'll come running to your rescue, like the professional guard I am. Wow. That was pretty good. Hehehe, <laughs> thanks. I try. Do you think you could tell us about the buzzer now? Yes, please. Please tell us. Okay, I guess so. Prepare to be wowed. I... Prepare no. to be wowed. <laughs> is, is, is that it? I... Is that it? No! I... I... I thought he had more to say. Maybe he talks about it? Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot that's an option. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I, I wanna present this. No, okay. You don't know about it. Wait, oh talk. my god. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that was an option. <laughs> um, I accidentally pressed the buzzer earlier. Yeah, I heard it. So that was you, huh? You're a security guard, aren't you? Why didn't you come to the CEO's office? Well, this is the third floor of the basement. The CEO's office is on the first floor. I thought it would be a good idea to, um, adopt a wait-and-see approach. Plus, there's a police detective here, right? I just didn't think it was necessary. It's as if he's trying to win an award for the laziest person on the planet. Um, let's get back to talking about the night of the murder, okay? Is it true that the buzzer didn't go off that night? There must be a record, right? You must have had a look at it, right? Of course I did. I couldn't possibly have made a mistake either. Do you think you could take just one more look for me? Please? Pretty please? Oh, okay. I just can't say no to you, Maya. Evidence! <laughs> what do you think, Nick? Probably right. I don't think even Larry can make a mistake like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What is it? What's wrong? I made a mistake! Huh? But how? It can't be. It's impossible! Okay, enough already. What about the records? That night, it went off just once in the morning at around 1 a.m. 1 a.m.? That's when the murder happened! Wait, really? Are you serious? That's terrible! It can't be! Well, shocks he wasn't there. Yeah. One o two a.m. It's very specific. That is it's super important. specific, but very I guess it important. Makes sense. Hmm. <laughs> oh, good luck. Uh, wait, Larry. present it to him. Good, good luck on your. On um, explaining your part of negligence. Yeah. You guys have really made me reflect on the way I've been living. But the only problem is with all this reflecting. Where's the time for love? Frankly, I think reflecting is a bit overrated, you know? What are you going on about, Larry? Plus, do you honestly have any new- in, Any new info on the buzzer record? Huh? The record? Ah, uh, no, nothing at all. This guy reflects about as much as a piece of black carpeting. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Well... Bye, Larry. Can you present uh, it to him? 
Detective Gumshoe, about this right here? Okay. Oh, okay, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> wow. Still rude. Uh-huh. You got no brain. Did I talk to him? No, okay. Never mind then. <laughs> Tell us more about Shane Bluebard. How did how did, how did you mess up the name? How did yeah? How did she mess it up that badly? <laughs> That's Kane uh, Bullard, not Shane Bluebard, pal. Oh yeah, the victim in this case just doesn't make that much of an impression on me. <laughs> well, you were the victim up until Mr. Bullard was found dead. Yeah, and his body wasn't discovered until this morning. Anyway, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? Sorry, I'm actually a little confused myself. For some reason, I'm just blabbing like an idiot right now. Okay, Nick. Now's our chance to get more info about the victim, so hurry up and ask! Is it? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Can you tell us more about Mr. Bullard? Bullard. This is the CEO of KB Security, right? What kind of company is it anyway? Well, the company basically sends security teams out to buildings to guard them. Mr. Bullard must have had a chance to learn a lot of secrets doing this kind of work. Oh, and? And I don't know how to put this, but the guy was kind of a money grubber. CEOs. Bad guys. <laughs> right. Really? Me too. I just love money. I can't ever get enough. Uh-huh. <laughs> Please stop leaning in towards me like that. You aren't getting to my wallet. <laughs> anyway, it looks like he did some pretty shifty stuff to earn his millions. Oh. So that's my problem. I need to be shiftier. Maya! <laughs> <laughs> Let me go already. <laughs> Apparently, he was involved in selling trade secrets between rival companies. Ooh, that's pretty dirty and underhanded. Yeah. Oh, KB Security used to have security operations against Mask Star to Mask. What? Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and after screwing up so many times company's reputation really took a nosedive. So it really was Bullard who sent Ron the blackmail letter, huh? Okay. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I feel kind of <laughs> sorry for him. Yeah, and he seems to have a habit of always getting arrested prematurely. Well, it's just my personal opinion, but... I think the police should have investigated the whole thing more carefully. But weren't <laughs> you the one that arrested him with a giant gooey smile on your face? Come on, we don't have time to start with that. Let's just leave it alone. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh. This. Wait, did I represent this? I did this, right? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I figured you would have something to say about it, but no, I guess not. Mm. Oh, there's still the lock. With... with. What's her face? Not her, with, with uh... Um... Andrews. Oh, let me check the detention center real quick. Visitor's room. Ah! Oh, Mr. Wright! Mr. Delight! Did they finish their interrogation? Yes, but please don't leave me alone anymore! Mr. Delight, you lied to us before, didn't you? Well, er, you see... On the same night, the sacred urn was stolen from Lordly Taylor Department Store. A blackmail letter you got summoned you to KB Security to hand over some money. And then that's where the CEO, Kane Bullard, was murdered. 
but there's only one Rhonda Light, am I right? So the only question is, where were you that night? This time I want to hear the whole truth. Your life depends on it. Oh, okay. Okay. Mr. Delight, do you still insist that you are Masked Star to Mask? Isn't that what I've been saying since yesterday? That was a quick response. Tell me about it. To be honest, it's starting to get irritating. But listen, Mr. Delight. At the trial today, we learned the true identity of the thief, didn't we? Look at me. <laughs> oh, that face was so creepy. It honestly is so creepy. It's like, that's not right. He should not look like that. <laughs> I guess it's true. I wasn't the one who stole that urn. Of course not. After all, you were at KB security at the time. So then the person dressed up as mask started masking this photo. It's gotta be Detective at me. Night of the crime. So that night, you didn't go to Lordly Taylor. You went to KB security, right? Yes. I went to KB security at the time the blackmail note said I should. All right, what happened next? Well, I used to work there, so I knew where the CEO's office was. I knocked, but there was no answer. So then I used the keycard to unlock the door. Why is it so working? <laughs> Wait, what? Like, why Why was the car, the key card oh, still working? <laughs> why is it still working yeah, after a year? They just let him keep it right. as a souvenir. Ugh. But then with how the CEO is, they didn't really splurge on security that well. Mm -mm. So They didn't really care <laughs> for the security inside their own office. Yeah, that's probably why it still works. <laughs> that's probably when he dropped his wallet. When I went into the CEO's office, someone was in there. Someone. Then suddenly they bashed me over the head. Bam! I didn't like that silhouette, guys. Yeah, I didn't like that silhouette either. What do you mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, what does that mean, guys? <laughs> what was the silhouette? He has more lines. <laughs> oh god. Was it Kane Bullard that hit you? I don't know. The person ran away while I was still stunned. When I came to my senses, the sight I saw left me speechless. Oh. The dead body of the CEO is right there in front of me. I thought I had died myself. Anyway, I thought I should do something with the body. So you just stuffed it in the safe? Oh god, he put so his hands all over him? Oh, jeez, <laughs> why? So that's why you put it in the safe? And that's the reason yes, why that's he- that's right. And that's the only reason why he wants so badly to be the thief. Oh. Oh. Goodness. Oh. Ron, you're, you're supposed to call the police this when you see a dead body. Yeah, I do. Oh my god. Okay. I used to be the chief of one of the security teams, so I knew how to open it. They didn't change the lock. <laughs> okay. And what did you do after that? Well, I got out of there for starters. I was the one who set up the security cameras in that building. So I knew how to avoid being spotted by them. He's so suspicious. <laughs> Jeez. Nick? All of a sudden, Mr. Delight kind of sounds like a murderer <laughs> to me. Please don't say that. It's like I already defended one murderer already. <laughs> Why you were fired. Mr. Delight, is it true that one year ago, you were forced to quit KB security? Uh, did you, how did you? I'm begging you, please don't tell Desi, please! Uh, don't worry, we haven't told anyone yet. Phew, thank goodness. Er, no, I, um, but I suppose I'll have to tell her sometime. She'll find out eventually. Why have you been hiding it from her anyway? Desi would despise me if she ever found out I was living a life of crime. A 
criminal, a thief. She'd never forgive me. My marriage would be over. Not only that, why did you become a thief in the first place? Because Desi de spends money like it's water. There's no job in the world that could bring in enough money. Except being a thief. At least that's what I thought anyway. So he became mass star to mask for Desert Ray, huh? Hmm. 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 <laughs> I can't trust nobody. Can't trust nobody. Mm -mm. Do you know about the buzzer? The buzzard went off just once around the time that Bullard was killed. Oh! That, that's scary. Do you know anything about that, Mr. Delight? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't. Why am I not surprised by how clueless he is anymore? Okay. Uh, do you know about this heist? Hey! This is an, an article about my debut heist! Wait, that was a tough one. Before I knew it, they were hot on my trail. The master, ma uh, master to mask. He must have gotten away, right? It says in the article that he disappeared. That's right. I got a sudden burst of inspiration. I hid my mask, started mask costume in a nearby plastic bucket. And then I quickly changed into my security guard uniform. Pretty clever, eh? Wow. Awesome. Hey, hold the phone! The guard in this photo? Is this you, Mr. Delight? Hee <laughs> hee. That's right. Nice trick if I do say so myself. Nice and easy to figure out. Even pearls could see through that in a heartbeat. I don't know. It, it was so blurry. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Well, since we got that silhouette, do you think they were both trying to aim to be the, the thief so neither- so that- like, they won't be outed as a murderer? I don't know. Now I'm all confused. Like, Is Ron actually masked star to mask? Now you might be. And Luke Abby just wanted to be the thief so he would be pinned down for the murder. Oh my god. Okay. I don't- there's such a short time frame, huh? Yeah. Okay, but if anything, it sounds like Ron did the initial heist. But then, maybe Atme became, like, the copycat after? I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to I see. Know. I mean, there could have been, like, a bunch of photos deleted in that program. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Ugh! But as you might expect, Detective Atme found the disguise. He truly deserves the title of Ace Detective. No, he doesn't! <laughs> Detective at me found that mask star to mask disguise. Hmm, that's interesting. Huh, so maybe he has like the, the duplicate? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yes, and I heard that he brought it home with him. So that's it. That's when at me got his hands on this. Thanks to that, I got the chance to remake my costume. That must have been really time consuming, huh? Yes, it took quite a while to complete. Anyway, a few days after that, I received the first of the blackmail letters. Letters? Blackmail letters with an S? No! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you got them starting when? Tell me more, now! Hey, calm down. Don't get so worked up. Why did the music change? I got all scared. This blackmail letter. Is this the first one you got? No, of course not. But this is the first one that ever called me out to a specific location. So did you start receiving blackmail letters after this incident? Yes, just a few days after the tier of Eminem hi Emma Emma Nun heist. Eminem and Emma. Eminem and Emma. That first letter. It said, I know you did it. Someone found out your about your true identity? Just like that? It was the CEO. Maybe. Ah, uh, it's not easy being a master thief, you know. I've got proof that it was you, so give up, it went on to say. So in the end, I had to give up the treasure I went through all that trouble to steal. 
Is that right? Hey, hang on a second. What do you mean you had to give it up? Oh, don't worry. After I put the jewel in the safe deposit box, the letter specified. Someone sent me $10,000. For a hundred thousand... jewel? Huh. Okay. No one said anything about being me being worried, you know. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. Plans? Plans. <laughs> plans. I know. He's like getting I set up. What are you doing? Now what are these plans you're talking about? They were instructions on how to steal a crown or a painting or some other rare treasure. They showed security blind spots, escape routes, and even suggested training methods. So they, they, they pretty much just trained this guy. To steal? Yeah. So you mean, the one who planned the heist wasn't you? And then they would exchange money for a low amount so they can resell it. Yeah. So they would make him go through all the trouble to, to steal all this. But then... Like, okay, the reason why they had to know is because they set up the security, no? I... I don't know. <laughs> okay, alright, oh, let's boy. see what he says. Okay. No, it wasn't. I only planned the very first one. After that, I received plans from, from some very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. And you didn't question this! It sounds like Mr. Delight is thankful to the person that was blackmailing him. <laughs> Front Delight was mass star to mask after all. But someone else is behind the thefts. Someone who planned them all out in detail. All I had to do was deposit the treasures I stole into a, into the safe deposit box. Then I just waited for the cash to come in the mail. But then you got them at a, such a stupidly low price in comparison to yeah. what they are. I mean, I guess that's the point of blackmail. I guess. <laughs> Could you try not to look so gleeful about it? So you went after the sacred urn because of those plans too? Well, see, truth is, I've never seen the urn. All I did was follow the instructions and steal what I was told to steal. Mr. Delight, is everything you just you just told me the truth? Yes, but please don't tell Desi, okay? I wanna tell Desi. <laughs> yeah, we gotta tell Desi. From the mess second heist on, he was stealing as directed by blackmail letters. Ron, before you go, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Y yes but, but please don't hurt me. Mr. Kane Bullard, do you swear that it wasn't you who killed him? Yes, of course. I could never. I'm not lying. All I did was hide his body in the safe, which is dumb. But which is still. crazy. But then I was afraid they'd discover what I did, so I turned myself in yesterday. Um, why? <laughs> well, if the judge had ruled that I was guilty of robbery, then I'd have an alibi, right? So, okay, that was his. So, you could have just told us this to begin with. And... You should have just called the police about the dead body! <laughs> I mean, yeah, in the end, you should have just called the police! And then we would understand why you're so delusional. But then you're actually masked to mask. I guess Jeez. so. I wouldn't say you're clever. You're dumb, Mr. Delight. <laughs> um, I guess I have no choice but to take Mr. Delight at his, at his word. Mystic Maya. Pearly. Hey, Pearly. I need the urn. <laughs> yeah, give, me, give us back the urn. I'm back. Hey, Pearls. So what have you been up to this whole time? The secret urn, Mr. Nick. I took it back to the Crane Village to have it examined. And? And? What did you find out? Well, there's no need to worry. They said it's the real urn. Whew! That's a relief. I was really worried. But... There's one small problem, aside from all the pink splotches and the cracks and everything <laughs> on it. Problem? <laughs> um, these cute little pink splotches. They said that it's paint. And they were put on the urn recently. 
Why are we talking about the pink splotches again? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? We gotta find out how they got there. That's the big deal. Yeah, Mr. Nick. We gotta find out how they got there. Okay, okay. We'll find out how they got there. Please don't forget about me. Yay. Found an enemy covered in pink splotches, but it's the genuine article. We're not. Genuine. Oh, well, we're stuck in this. This is all messy. <laughs> we're... Ooh, we can talk to what's her face now. Yeah, the lady, uh, Andrews. Andrews. Uh, this one. Which one is it? Oh, are you gone? Don't tell me you're gone, Miss Andrews. Okay. <laughs> oh, Pearl, how nice to see you. Hello there. I haven't seen you around lately. What have you been up to? Well, actually, I was having this urn examined. Uh, oh, I, I see. Maybe if we take another good look at this urn. Can we look at the urn? Figure out the mystery of what actually happened here. Nick, let's look around one more time. Ooh, you're gonna have to examine everything again. Okay, give, Wait. give me a moment. Uh, yeah, I'm just curious if there you can- no. Oh, okay, you can't actually, like, look no, at can't, it. No, I can't. That's I can't do 3D mode. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Alright. The box, finally! <laughs> this box, there's something about it that's bothering me. That's the box that the sacred urn was in. It looks like there's some pink paint on it, too. And it's definitely the same color as the stuff on the urn. More evidence. I think I know how the paint got on it now. Alright, let's investigate again, Nick. Ooh! Yes! You actually <laughs> got it! Nice! Finally! Do I still need to investigate the... I would just click on everything. You know I'll this click game. On everything. <laughs> this, is, this is the camera and the computer that Detective Atme set up, huh? That's what he said. And yet, he still let it take a picture of him. Or his alibi. I guess he's not as so smart he, as he, he pretends to be. Could he have faked the time as well? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. I'm like... Because he said, like, the program was his, so he could have... Just changed the time. Or yeah. Something. Hmm. The camera belonged to Lordly Taylor, so he knew he couldn't tamper with it. So then why would at me, I mean, mass star the mask, allow that to happen? I don't know anymore. Oh wait, that's part of it, shucks. <laughs> Is the computer Burr. the same thing too? Burr. Yeah, the computer was the same as the camera. I see, okay. Looks like the part of a big sign word or I can read is the burr. 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 Aha, I've got it! Maybe it's supposed to say hamburger. Why would anyone write hamburger that big? Like, maybe for the World Hamburger Festival or something. I kinda doubt it. Aha! I got it! Maybe it's a spaghetti! Why are you talking about food? Oh wait, that's normal for you. Anyway, it says burr. There's no way it could be spaghetti. It's for birdie. Well, maybe it was a typo. It might have been... It might have said spaghetti festival. What do you think? I don't know. I think I want a hamburger right now. Hamburger sounds good. <laughs> okay, dude. Besides, spaghetti's the only thing more tangled in your reasoning. Okay. Sword. Detective Atme said he got hit on the back of the head with this side of thief. There should have been, like, hair fibers on it or... I don't know. <laughs> I know, right? But that was obviously a lie. Because it turned out that Atme was the real thief. It's still hard to believe. Looks like Adrian feels really bad about it. I'm gonna take full responsibility and fix that sword myself. I know I don't look it, but I have complete confidence I can fix it right up. Is it because you fixed her? <laughs> I promise I'll fix it so you never knew it was bent in the first place. Please be gentle with it. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. Okay, okay. Everything. Everything. 
Looks like the door to the actual storeroom. I can see lots of big boxes and stuff back there. I guess that's where they keep the sacred urn. That's where they were keeping the sacred urn. Remember Maya. Miss Andrews said we're not allowed in there. We should still go in there just in case. It says Organi. No, it doesn't, Nick. It says Organize. You can't just see the last two letters. Yeah, well, I guess no one else could read it either, because this place is a mess. Yeah, so you should feel right at home, right? Yep. <laughs> Paint. Paint. Looks to me like it's been dry for several days. There's something suspicious about this paint mark. Bottom left part of it is shaped oddly and it's shockingly pink. Mr. Nick! Could it be that this odd shape is... Yeah. Pretty sure this is it. Ah! That's the box the secret urn was in! If you look here, there's a little bit of paint on the box as well. Wow, you're right! Look! It matches! Yes. Dot dot dot. What is it, Mr. Nick? This is all turning out exactly as I thought it would. His Completely brain. Dry. His brain is so brain. massive right now. <laughs> I think it's all starting to become clear. We're that much closer to solving the mystery of what happened to the urn. The statue wasn't where it was, where it is now when we first came here, right? Yeah, it was right next to the door, wasn't it? Covering the paint. Well, if someone moved it, it was probably masked, starred a mask. Maybe he didn't like being watched by Mystic Ami while he stole the urn. Hey, cut it out. You're giving me the creeps with that kind of talk. Okay, nothing important with that. But, All right. okay. So does that mean... Remember how I said this like three weeks ago? Does mm -hmm. that mean that the box was just sitting outside instead? Yeah, that's what I was... Curious about too. Hmm. Because she was fixing it. I'm kidding, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. That's... Confused. All right. Let's see if we have enough. I think we do. Uh, stuff. Take that! The Sacred Urn. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the Sacred Urn? Do, do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit! The urn that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. Well, well that's... That's, um, true. <laughs> Maybe it isn't the same. It could be... It could be a fake. A fake? You're the one who said it wasn't the same, so that's the most obvious explanation. Uh, do you have any of it? Blah, blah, blah. It was genuine. I mean... Pearly told me. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, but the urn is a genuine article. Genuine. <laughs> genuine. <laughs> <laughs> Pearls went back to Corrine Village and had it examined. Is that right? That's nice, but I don't see how... What she discovered was that the urn had been broken. Again. Did you say, again? Yes, it was broken once a year ago. And now it looks like the same thing has happened. It's quite recently, too. R recently? Are you saying that this urn was broken recently? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Why do you think it was broken recently? How do you know? I... Uh, uh... Um... Do we know? Because it looks different? I don't know. This poster. It was made recently, right? <laughs> poster? Ah! Uh, the poster for the exhibit! I don't... I still don't understand how that thing is still... Like... Like how <laughs> that looks like in this picture? How is it still... Together? Jeez. Uh, at the time when this photo was taken, the urn said I am on it. But now, for some mysterious reason, it says Ami. When the urn was fixed, the letters were transposed. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know anything about that. I wasn't even there when the photo for this poster was taken. 
That was a mistake. Now, tell the truth. Uh, wait, wait! Four? E even if the urn was broken, I had nothing to do with it. Huh? Y yes, that's it. It must have been one of the people at the photo shoot. They probably dropped it. I'm sure that's what happened. Hmm. Like, looks like she's not gonna give up that last psych lock so easily. Um... Here at Lordly Taylor. I mean, the box, the, it has pink splotches on it. I don't know which one. <laughs> yeah. I think the box? I guess the box. Well, Miss Andrews? Oh. Oh. Never mind. Oh, no. Well, Ern has these pretty little pink paint splotches on it. Oh. <laughs> And there's some on the box to earn with store. Okay, it doesn't really. It could have been any of the three. I see. Or the two. Maybe not the third one. And there's some on the box to earn with stored in too. No matter how you look at it, the paint seems to be exactly the same, wouldn't you say? So, what does that prove? That the urn was dropped along with the box. That's when they both got paint on them. Are you with me so far? Y yes. The rest of the story is obvious. This box is dropped right here in Lordly Taylor's basement warehouse. If I can prove that, it means that the urn was broken here too. So can you prove that? Uh, this one now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you already know where I'm going with this, don't you? Y yes, more, more or less. There's pink paint splat splattered on the floor and the walls of this basement warehouse. But there's an odd shape imprinted in the, into a part of this paint stain, am I right? Y yes. If you put this box into the impression in the paint, you can see it fits perfectly. Uh, which means this box was dropped right over there. And that is when the urn was broken. Your name does you justice, Mr. Wright. Yay. Yay, got it. Nice. I'm so sorry. I was the one, the one who broke the urn. Boy, does this make me feel like some sort of evil school teacher. But you fixed it. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Not only did I break it, but I tried to hide what I did. I like how she has the sad music. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not so hard to understand, is it, Prilly? No, not at all. I know just how she feels. But she knows how to fix it better. She does. She can actually read. It happened about two weeks ago. Just after the po poster photo was taken, on the same day that on the same day that Ern arrived here. I thought I'd put it away down here for safekeeping. I was carrying it in the box. When I tripped on a paint can and lost my balance. The box I was carrying crashed to the ground. Oof. I heard a terrible noise and I thought my heart was going to stop. Fearing the worst, I opened the lid of the box and that's when it happened. The broken pieces of the urn fell out of the box and landed right in the paint. I... I... I was in shock. Oh my god. And let out a huge scream. <laughs> Hmm, I can totally see how that could have happened. Yeah, as clumsy as she is, I'm sure Maya understands. I I knew it was the most important treasure in all of Karain Village. So I tried as hard as I could to fix it. Fortunately, the shards were pretty big. Hmm, and that's where the I am she got changed to Ami. I I didn't know how it was originally written. I mean, that's how it was originally written. <laughs> but I like how it was just like the same issue that Pearl had, except just she corrected it instead. <laughs> but any sane person fixing it would have assumed it said Ami. Ooh, Ooh. don't insult. <laughs> Ooh, poor Pearl Indirectly is over here. Pearl. Any sane person? Really? Oh, Pearls. 
She says she wasn't very good at spelling. Anyway, I put the urn into the storeroom and no one had seen it since. Broken and repaired by Adrian two weeks ago, then replacing its box. Kept out of sight. You couldn't have, like, tried to remove the paint, though? Mm hmm I know, she said she polished it up and everything. But mm. the paint? <laughs> but there's something I don't get. When I first came here, I didn't see any paint stains. Well, that's because it was it was so ugly and embarrassing. I used the golden statue to cover it. The Ami face statue. Aha! The first time that we came down here, it was on the night that the sacred urn was stolen. But, Mr. Nick? There were no paint marks on the walls or the floor when, of the warehouse when we were here. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime, around noon, that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. And? I realized that the statue would be the perfect size for covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it. I see. Now it makes perfect sense. Um, but there's still one thing I find strange. What is it, Pearl? The day after the urn was stolen, we came here again. At that time, the statue had already been moved and the paint was clearly visible. He's right about that. Well, Miss Andrews? Well? Huh? What? I er, I don't know anything about that. I placed it there to cover the paint, so why would I move it again? Well, then who was it? Who would have done it? And why? The day before the theft, the statue is definitely closer to the door. Then the next day it was moved. But why? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It looks like there's some connection between the sacred sacred urn and the murder case. But why? Why do you think so, or Nick? Because that night, the real thief, Ronda Light, was at KB Security. So then why did another mass star to mass show up here? A lot of different things are pointing to one undeniable fact. One undeniable fact? The murder trial is starting tomorrow, but... But, it looks but. like that thief is going to be making another appearance. Oh See? man, we did it. We did it. Yay. Now we can stop here. Yes. See, we're not gonna go until like five in the morning. <laughs> Unless I can Oh god. It is it is getting pretty late though. Oh, and I'm starting to get sleepy anyway. Alright. Oh, but that was good. Ugh. Ah, manifested you finishing? Yeah, you just came in just in time for us to wrap it up. No, that was good. I'm not gonna remember any of this. Again. <laughs> what do you mean we just gotta know about pink paint? Urn? Dead guy? But okay, Shame. she she did admit that she hid the box under the statue, is that correct? I mean, she hid the paint stains with the statue. Oh. I think the box was already moved inside at some point. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, did she just hide it in there? But, no, okay, that makes sense. Huh. Well, yeah, yeah. That, that was good. Good, good, good fake out of a case going, yay, you did it, not guilty. And then immediately walk out and be like, no, we're like, arresting him murder. again. <laughs> For something even worse. Jeez. Sheesh. Yeah, but I don't even know what what the truth is anymore. But then I got I actually did get the spook of of at me appearing when 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 yeah. Ron was talking about getting knocked out. I'm like, nah, nah, How? you're already doing the implication there. 
How? How are we supposed to prove that now? Especially... When he's already been, like, guilty of larceny. But then also, especially... Yeah. Like, who was at the, the basement then? I don't know. I don't know. Right? Right? Because, okay, like, it all made sense if he was the one that was there, right? But then, with the the implication of that cutscene or whatever, <laughs> if it's supposed to be at me that knocked him out over at the security place, then who could be at the, at the basement? Unless it happened at a different time than what the camera says, but ugh. Okay, if there is a way to prove that, then that would be ideal. Uh, I don't, I don't understand. I don't they know. They teleported with that four oh. minute difference. I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they also make a big deal about how far everywhere is, right? It'll mm -hmm. take a 30 minute drive or a 20 minute drive. So, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, it happened on the same day. Or supposedly. Supposedly the, the same, same day. day. Yeah. Same day and same time. That's... Ugh. Can you imagine if that was like... I'm sure there's like some cases in real life that have... Similar... Like, similar setups. But mm. it would just be... It would suck to have to try to prove it. Yeah. I, have no... I don't know what... Phoenix will leap to, and I'll be like, huh? <laughs> what are you saying, Phoenix? What is your brain saying? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna end stream. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out. This was good. Yeah. I think I think I was... I, I thought I was gonna be done voice acting at me, because he... As much as it, <laughs> as fun as it is, I'm just like, oh, I can only do that for so long. And I think the hee hee ha ha's and hee hee ha ha ho ho, <laughs> that, that messed me up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That messed me up. That messed up my my voice. So I was like, oh, well, thank God I won't see him ever again. And then I'm like, JK, never mind. <laughs> we are going to be seeing him again. <laughs> we're not done with him. No, we're not done with him yet. Okay, well, thank you, Donut, for streaming. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and we will see y'all next week. I guess, I guess Friday again? Is Friday still good for you? Um... Just let me know. Probably not. <laughs> okay, let me just let me know if if we have to skip next week or whatever. That's fine too. Um, but alrighty, We're gonna go. Good night. Good night. Oh my God! Hold up. I need to.